inside of me. You better watch out if you ignite me. He's a road ahead of full prophecy to be the greatest beast the world has ever seen. I feed him every day like the bones clean. I feed him all the hate and he grows me. And he gets caught real big, pissed off quick. And if you cross him, you might drop dead. Metaphorically, of course, said to live this war. Never getting bored, loves the blood and gore. Always wanting more freedom from the source. They don't really understand until they feel the force departed. If you start shit, you'll be heartless in the darkness. Torn apart quick, you left scars ripped. You'll be chewed up and discarded. And this world ain't bright, won't accept it. Negative energy, I expect it. Once it's in your mind, it's infectious. So fight for your life and reject it. You better give me space, I'm protective. My adrenaline spikes when I'm threatened. And if you stay in my way, I'm aggressive. Cause when there's no legs, it'll kill when I'm desperate. Yes, Luna. I went live early specifically for you. Okay? If nobody else was going to show up, as long as Luna Lizzie was in the chat, it was going to be me and Luna talking about this. Because I specifically went live for Luna. Okay? <laughs> I know she don't believe that. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm still trying to wake up and I'm still trying not to be angry, but the anger is going to be tonight. And I might not be as angry tonight when I go over the tipsterversary uh, because Beckett's going to be with me tonight and that might actually calm me down because somebody's in there with me. So, Ugh. all right, last song, you know what it means. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad I just wanna stay bad, stay mad Shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging on till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I'm sick of being cautious I'ma go cause some pain, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's lane, call it shoplift Sick of hearing everyone complain when they thoughtless Face the pain and 
Kids like candy canes, it makes me go change into a better frame, into a better name. Society's insane, we all live for fame. Yeah. Cash in the bag, city impact. Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm mad. Do it, no cap. Only God wants you better go live it up. Cash in the bag, city impact. Baby, I'm bad. Baby, I'm bad. <laughs> What's up, everybody? How are we doing today? Hello. Hi. How are you? I still should be sleeping right now because I didn't get no sleep last night. I tried, but I couldn't. This medicine is kicking my butt. So, what I was going to do today was catch up with the original H3 stream and then the original Vaw stream after the H3 stream. But I figured y'all have watched all that enough. Between Nick and his 2,000 people he had in there watching it. Ugh, he makes me sick. I hate Nicholas DiOrio. That's a joke, by the way, for people. Um, between, I mean, between Nick and Bo Blacks, I think Chris covered it. Okay, so I decided I'm not doing that. What I am going to do, though, is we're going to watch the H3 podcast from yesterday. Because I still, I think that ties in nicely for my stream later on tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is the one-year tipsterversary when it comes to, hey, let me white knight somebody over lolly. Last night's now recording was not funny, Luna, Lizzie, okay? All right. Thank you very much. Um, I was bullied yet again. I'm not going to be the punching bag of the boys much longer. I'm going to have to start taking shots. Bang, bang. Hey, Pumpkin. Pumpkin has decided to join us. She is in her uh, captain's chair. Yeah, and that's another thing, too. Um, it's funny, because we just, we just had an episode drop on the broadcast calling Ethan a bully. <laughs> Everybody.
everybody knows I don't like Epen. Um, even before I joined the commentary community, I was I used to compare Ethan and Keem a lot. And then I started going towards the side of Keem because I'm like, at least Keem will do it to your face where Ethan will do it behind your back. But here's the thing about me and something that I like to stay consistent on. Even if I don't like you, a W is a W. A good take is a good take. I could not stand you, and you could be the worst creator I think has ever lived. If you have a good take, you have a good take. You know? And Ethan has a good take. He has a damn good take. Oh, don't get me wrong. He's not growing on me. I, I'm, listen, um, like, I understand, like, Nick's talking like, you know, he's been good the last two years. Ah, no, he hasn't been as bad, but he's still unjustly going after Abba and Preach. He keeps taking swipes at them, and he has now two instances where, bro... You don't treat a gay man like that. Just saying. You don't do that. Okay? So, Ethan has some work to do still. Alright? So, he ain't growing on me. I still think he's a, a, a piece of poo. But, he has a good take on this one. And I'll ride with him on this one, you know? I will ride with him on this one. So... Ba, 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 bum. Wait, I gotta make the... Okay, there we go. Alright, so. A Street Podcast went live yesterday at 4 p.m. Alright. And I remember because we were supposed to... Uh, it was like, okay, well I have a good two hours to watch this. Before uh, we go record. Which we didn't record. Because there's so much to do. And we're like how are we supposed to do all this. So. This fool showed up. In front of the camera. In a horse costume. I'm telling y'all now. I 100% respect the petty. I 100% respect this level of pettiness. This is a level of pettiness that I need more creators to do. It is amazing. Oh yeah, the thumbnail was funny. Hold on, let's look at the thumbnail. Hold on, hold on. Wait. The thumbnail was absolutely amazing. Look at that thumbnail. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. <laughs> yes, it's an animorph. <laughs> I love it. I, I respect it. I, I respect that level of petty. I'm sorry, but, you know, the T channel in me just respects it. Listen, y'all want me to play all this copyrighted music. Y'all don't want me to get my money, do you? My God. My God. All right. Hold on. I got We're going to... You know what? I've asked y'all for weeks to do your homework. Y'all going to learn today. Because we're doing this at 1.5. Alright. Howdy, partners. Welcome to the H3 Podcast. Woo-wee! <laughs> we got ourselves a whole barn of a show out here today, boys. That's right. Hi, little sister. Nice to see you. Welcome to the barn. My name's Ethan Klein. Today... Thank you, Dolly. Thank you. She starts brushing him with the horse brush. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. No. 
Thank you, sweetheart. Today is uh, February the 12th. Cheers, my horse. Cheers. And so I come to you today to talk about a very serious topic. It's actually one of the most serious shows we've done. Well, Are you sure? <laughs> uh, we spoke about Vosh. Yes, I'm sure. What makes you think otherwise? Uh, nothing. We spoke on Friday about Vosh, who's a political streamer <laughs> who uh, leaked his, his uh-oh folder, his oh no folder. It's brought, oh, not, uh, not associated <laughs> with the uh-oh folder. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you to stamps.com. Okay, here we go. All right, now, he gets into it. He starts to get into it here. Now, the whole time, well, I would say probably around this time stamp, around 47 minutes in, I think that's when Tipster and Keffels went live. And, oh, my God. You want to talk about a coke fest? That was the worst. Like, they, they it, it, she should take that live stream down. I mean, it doesn't matter if you do. Anyway, I'm still going to go over it probably tomorrow. And, and if you get rid of it, I downloaded it anyway. So, because I'm going to show your cope. Your cope was absolutely amazing. Oh, my God. And her virtue sig- Oh! Oh! Her virtue sig- It's like, girl, you act like we care. I don't care. I don't care about your feelings. The way Keffles was going on and on, like people were supposed to care about her feelings. Did you care about people's feelings when you raised 100K? And people still don't know what happened to that money? Did you care about people's feelings when you were getting them deplatformed? Because they just made you mad because they just so happened to cover you? Did you care about people when someone would disagree with you and you automatically called them transphobic? One of the worst things that you can be called on Twitter today? Did you care when you lied about who really doxed you and you blamed Kiwi Farms? Did you care about all that? So what makes you think anyone cares what you're saying now? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Do you think I care why she has Ethan's phone number? No. I certainly do not. I absolutely certainly do not. Just saying. She does talk slow. You have to put her on two just she's like the quartering. You have to put her on two just to under just to get through it. Yes, the cope and virtue signaling was crazy. Okay, so let's uh get into what Ethan's saying. Like that some, some people that just joined are like, what is Ethan wearing? This is a Gumby outfit. It kind of doesn't... I, I could take it off probably, right? I think probably, Cause, yeah. Because I mean, now got, you're just we wearing... We got the mileage out of it. We got the mileage out of it. Orange blob. It was a $30 rental, you know. Yeah, yeah is it? Is it a steal? <laughs> no. Vox just stopped watching. <laughs> Vox just stopped watching because he took that off. He doesn't want to watch uh, anymore. Uh, Too bad. Bend his disbelief no longer. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm going straight into this. So, as I mentioned at the beginning, there's a new name for his community that I'm dubbing them. Oh, jeez. Okay. The Lollipops. And I, I am adopting that. I like that. We're going to call them the lollipops now. And Tipster and Keffels are lollipops. I am calling them all, whoever is sticking up for a boss, I am calling you a lollipop. Yes, they were copium and see, yes, they were Luna. I am dubbing them. I am co-signing the lollipop meme. Okay. Yes, because they're suckers. I like it. And that's kind of the title that they've uh, coined themselves by the tremendous amount of people that are defending his consumption of lolly horsey, lolly horsey play. Mm -hmm. We've we not like this is not a crossover there. that we asked for. <laughs> you know. So there's been a wide and persistent effort to obfuscate what was in the folder that he leaked on accident, his goon folder. What was in that folder? He and his fans persistently tell us 
that there was nothing bad in that folder. What? And that is a convenient lie that's told by Vosh and his or his audience who are, um, frankly, unwilling to look closer at it. And they're just running to his defense. I'll tell you what was in the what was in that folder that was a problem. There was a there was a girl who looked 13. That was a problem. There was a girl who looked very young who was sucking off a horse. Is that a problem? I, I don't like that. Some uh -huh. of these girls it's look all, pretty young. Um, okay. It's all anime. It's all and um, I believe in Vosh's live. OK, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. I believe in Bosch's live stream, he said that uh, they were six head, right? Um, thanks to... Wait a minute. Where is it? It is not here. Wait a minute. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Do, 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 do. Okay, hold on. Let me find it. Miss Brittany Venti... Miss Brittany Venti, on, and you know what? I'm not even sure I can. I mean, I don't see the problem in it, but six head means uh, between ages of nine to 15. You mean to tell me that you looked at that, you looked at that picture, can tell that it was six head, as you call it, and you still saved it? What? Night, somebody tell Knight Rider they're behind. What's up, Lamp? All right, so let's keep going. It's all drawn. Yeah. Clarify again, because it's all drawn. Yeah. Tacoma wept. But apparently, Lolly, which is a genre of hentai that features really young girls, mm -hmm. is apparently a topic of huge debate. And there's a lot of people that support this, mm. which is absolutely mad. The reason for that, which we talked through on Friday, which Love pointed out, is that the consumption of this type of content normalizes and comforts people who would otherwise not uh, even think about such things. Or, or people who are more likely to act on their impulses or to go and buy actual TP. To I actually agree with him here. Because if it gets normalized for someone to see that in, in drawn form, in art form... What stops them from wanting to see it in real life? If you look at that kind of shit, I don't want you around me. And I can't say what I want done to you because I like my YouTube channel. Okay? I'm just saying. If you like that kind of shit, get away from me. Because it's gross. It's absolutely gross. To satisfy their mm -hmm. sick desires. And so, what was in that? That's basically it. You know, it, it was those two things. But part of the problem, too, for me, guys, is that this to be sorted folder he also leaked in 2017 i believe or 19 oh, boy. a couple years ago oh. and someone asked him on stream i have all this but i'm just giving you cliff notes now they said what's in the folder <laughs> he said 98 percent porn so i ask you this we saw the very tip of the iceberg of that folder <laughs> that folder's been in use for years what else is in that folder mm -hmm. what are no the pedo. chances what are the chances that just on the top there was like several deeply deeply disturbing images so what is the chances that down below the years and years of saved images doesn't have worse I think the worst stuff is in the taxes folder. I've heard that theory actually. You have? I did, yeah. Oh, I thought it was original. I think I'm with Heal on that one too. I'm with Heal on that one too. It's probably in the taxes folder, you know. Label it taxes. Just in case, you know. What does rum draw for tipster? I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. Um Oh my god, I was going to say something else, and I lost it, because I read Luna's comment, and she threw me off. Um, Alright, we're going to keep going, and then it'll, it'll come to me. I think the taxes is like a cover-up for like oh, the worst. Oh, yeah, this is what I was going to say. And for the people who have the audience, it doesn't hurt. For people in the audience who has this argument that, oh, it's drawn, it doesn't hurt anybody. Bro. 
I don't care if they're drawn or not. Those are still underage kids. You're perfectly okay with a drawn picture of an underage kid having sex? What? Are you serious? Again, if you like that, stay away from me. Stay away from me. Because I promise you, you're not going to get... No, stay away from me. I don't want to be around you. That's, so, again, this is pure speculation, yeah. but I did see someone saying, like, I don't know how nobody pointed this out, but, like, this is super common for people that consume this type of content to have it in a folder, like, taxes or something. Uh -oh. Although, that doesn't... Because, like, if, if he is trying to hide it, he wouldn't put it there. Yeah, he wouldn't yeah, put it there. Yeah, he it there. Well, Natanya, thank you for being a member for three months. Lolly is so gross. True. Very true. Thank you for uh, being a member for three months. Not like, a great hiding spot. Unless there's subfolders in there. Yeah, so it has like the years of taxes and then you go within there and then like there's a subfolder right, within right. subfolder and that's a really If anything, shit. it's just a protocol to be like, I need to be extra, extra, extra careful with this. Stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have at some point in our lives been going fucking crazy on some hentai site. No, we, no, have. we haven't. Well, okay. So, so, hold, on, hold, on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. So far, that's fine. Go in, hentai is perfectly fine. Sure, sure. Go on. Uh, go on, uh, Vosh. Some of these girls look pretty young. Okay. Okay, so, well, there was a... That's We've part of the lolly at some point or another. Yeah, there, there it is. Oh. Uh, that, that part hey, I No, we haven't. That part no, I we haven't. We have not. We have not. That's a singular experience, mm -hmm. I think. I heard the term for the first time on Friday. I've never heard that term. Right. I had no idea what it was. It's all new to me. Um, <laughs> dude, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I didn't grow up amongst anime and all this kinds of stuff. Well, apparently, it's become an anniversary thing in the commentary community where we argue about it. Pumpkin, what are you doing? Hold on, hold on one second. Pumpkin's being bad, and I have to go yell at her. Hold on. Ma'am! Ma'am! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh my god! You're a pain in the ass today. Stop it! Sorry. No, don't all little baby nothing. She was playing with something that she won't both be playing with. Don't be poor pumpkin. Uh, do we think Voss will come under legal trouble for this? I don't know. That's a good question. I have no idea. So I have no idea that this was a, I didn't start watching anime until I was an adult. Right. And we were like in Israel, I think the first anime. And so this is all kind of a new world. This here, by the way. Is Terrible name for a cat. Wait, are you saying pumpkin is a terrible name for a cat, maggot? Listen, I'm not like people. You don't, you don't, uh, you don't get to come in here and talk to me any kind of way. That's not how this works, maggot. You better go take that back to Peepaw's chat. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Is um, Drake and Vosh. What are we trying to say with this, uh, Cam? Created uh, by Dan Schneider. This, this is just a pun I had in my head all weekend. So. <laughs> Lolliadon? <laughs> hold on. Hold the phone now. This is a, this is a strange coming to age tale. <laughs> That's a still from Drake's court appearance, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't have to do him like that. That's great. You know, it's the, they rebooted iCarly, and I can reboot Drake and Josh. Now I want to make a few things clear. If you watch hentai, if you watch furry, if you do all that, that's, I have no, I'm not here to kink shame anybody. But what I'm, I am here to talk about is explicitly disturbing content that is not good in any uh, facet of okay. the world to exist in. Right. Now, Vosh made a two-hour-long uh, response video to our Friday's episode. It was cope, it was cope, it was cope. Oh my God, you could tell Voss's brain was spinning when he did that live stream going, what can I say, what can I say, what can I say to get out of this? What can I say to get out of this? What can I say to get out of this? Like his, like I was starting to feel like I was seeing smoke come out of his ears because his brain was working overtime trying to talk his way out of it. It was amazing to watch. Oh my God, it was so amazing to watch. Oh God, when he, <laughs> he said, 
said, no, it, 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 I don't want to watch a horse, but I want to be the horse. Bro, you have SDE, small dick energy, apparently. I'm just saying, apparently, you are trying to overcompensate, my dude. Holy crap. Oh, 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 it was so bad. It was so bad. <laughs> oh god uh papa gus said boss did it deliberately to get attention what a more no well you know what kevin you never know he might have listen youtubers do crazy shit okay they do everything from creating fake drama with other people to creating a fake drama for themselves. So you never know. You never know. But I can't imagine. I cannot imagine that he did this and not think he wouldn't get canceled. Like a good thorough canceling. You know? With incredible takes such as, this is a Dan conspiracy, <laughs> that he's, oh Ethan's only doing this because I'm anti-Israel. Can we talk about the Dan conspiracy aspect yeah. of this a well, little bit? We can, I have a whole section on it. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> but we, the cliff I mean, I don't even know how to, there's so much, bro. There's so much. All right. we'll I should through. try to, I should actually try, make a focus to work Just, through this. Yeah, and I don't, I don't like Papa Gut, although Papa Gut has had a string of good takes lately, and I'm, I'm pretty proud of him. You know, after the Colleen uh, after the Colleen Ballinger debacle last year with Papa Gut, you know, I lost a lot of faith in him. But this year, so far, with the Mama Mac stuff, he had some good takes. I was like, okay, Papa Gut, all right. Your takes are getting better. I still don't have a lot of faith in him, but, you know, a, a tiny bit of faith was restored. Let's just get right into it then. So in his video... He had these incredible takes, but I want to tell you all, Vosh and his supporters will tell you the following things. Mm -hmm. It's out of context. All the clips of him. It wasn't. Mm -mm. We looked at the context. We looked at it and understood it. They will tell you that what was in the folder was not Lolly. It was Lolly. Mm -hmm. By Vosh's own admission, which I will show you. That okay, I have to admit, at one point I was a Vosh fan. Alright, I did watch Vosh. Um... It was more what I was into uh, when I was in the tea community, or whatever. And I did like Vosh. And I believed the rhetoric of a lot of things were taken out of context with Vosh. Um, it seems to me that the debate broing is coming back and biting him in the ass. This is why I hate that debate bro shit. I hate that, okay, like what they were doing last night on Now Recording, I hate that stuff. Don't give me an ethical theory, just tell me how you really feel. And then I'm going to tell you how much of a dumbass you are. I don't like that, give me blood sports all day, but that debate bro crap or that, that uh, we're going to have a debate with rules and stuff like that, no. I want to yell over you. Okay? And I want you to attempt to yell over me. Alright? That's how I conduct that stuff. I hate that debate bro shit. And that, well, what if, you know, you were stuck on an island and you had to eat one of the people that were there. There were two other people. And if you ate one of them, you would save the world. Well, the whole world's gonna die. How about that? Okay? I don't have to choose one. I hate that debate bro shit. I hate it. Good God, I hate that stuff. Just say what you mean, bro. That it's all been debunked or explained a million times, they'll say. It has not. Mm. Wait, hot take, mini lad greater than Vosh? I should hide you for even putting that in my chat. Oh, God. Lieutenant Star. Um, Mini Lad is a degenerate that, you know, I'm not for deplatforming, but I wouldn't mind for his channel to be gone. Just saying. 
because he's a piece of shit too. It has not. You will hear the same tired reasoning for every clip. Other, in, this is the this is the context that they continue to tell us is out, is um, cut out because it's the same justification every time he brings it up. He says other industries are bad, like cobalt mining or chocolate, but we aren't morally consistent. Saying that uh, he's not saying he's pro CP, he's Lieutenant, saying he's anti capitalism okay, or consumer capitalism. He's and so this is the the point that we've grappled with in great detail already. And explain. And if you notice, I didn't hide you, Lieutenant. I figured you were being sarcastic. Just saying. Why? That's obscene and wrong. Right. And yet they'll continue to tell us that it's been debunked or that it's old, uh, un uncovered. This this defense, by the way, may have been believable up until we found that he is actually consuming lolly I mean, stuff. Yeah, yes! <clears throat> the context of how, how everything happened. It's all changed. It's Yeah. So he leaked this folder, which was super silly to begin with. The horses, it's, what got me. It was funny yeah. at first. And then the more you look at it, it starts to get a little disturbing. And then you realize all of his background. Can we talk about the leak folder real quick? Why is everybody just saying, okay, excuse me, not everybody. Why are the people defending Vosh are telling him, well, you should just look at porn on your phone? Why, are, why isn't the first thing that comes to your mind? Why was that picture on your computer in the first place? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, my bad. Tipster didn't even see it. So Tem Tempster was blindly trying to white knight for somebody. Oh, gee, we haven't seen that before, but that's going to be at 6 p.m. tonight because we're going to have a little history lesson on Tempster about when it comes to uh, white knighting for people who don't need to be white knighted, okay? We're, we're going to have a little history lesson on that. And just in case he's watching this, because I know you're roaming around in chats, I already downloaded the fucking video. So go ahead and delete it if you want to try. And that's the, that's basically the rabbit hole we went down. Absolutely. And, you know, he accuses me continually in his video of doing a bad faith character assassination attempt. I have no reason to assassinate this man's character. I thought the horse porn was funny. Mm -hmm. And, bro, you need to at least make find God on that one, because that shit is objectively ridiculous and funny. Just you know, the right what, I mean, having a two-sword folder... It's funny. It's all Can good. We, like, that's where we all started. Yeah. It started from this is just being really funny. There was so much to say about it. And so as we reacted to it live, it became more and more apparent that this is more disturbing. There's other disturbing parts of this. So, and again, I'm telling you, the other thing that Vosh and his fans will try to tell you, that I'm trying to pretend like he's been hiding this, that I'm acting like it's some big dark secret that he's hiding. And so in his mind, he's saying that because my people know that I'm a pervert, therefore... You shouldn't be outraged by it. Now, not everybody in the world, you might be, I didn't know you were a pervert on this level. And so, it, what does it matter if it was hidden or out in the open? You know what I mean? It's still fucking disturbing. Mm -hmm. And by the way, that's also not true because the lolly shit was not out in the open. That was a new wrinkle in the fabric of this story. Yes. Also, there's, there's different levels of knowing somebody on the internet. I've seen his clips from time to time on a certain subject, mm -hmm. especially lately with so much going on in the world. Sometimes a clip of his will come up and we'll watch it. That doesn't mean that I know anything about Vosh or his history or his Discord chats with his fans. You know, this, this is a whole different level of like knowing you and following you. Listen, everybody knew that Vosh was... Okay, well, everybody who knew, who actually knew, knew Vosh was like when it came to like sex and stuff like that, he's, he's out there, all right? But when you... Had, when you showed proof that you had lolly, that takes it to a different level. That takes it to a whole different level for me. Because now you're bringing kids into it. And y'all know how I am about kids. You know, I'm that one auntie that's crazy. I really am. I'm that auntie that the parents wouldn't even have a chance to get to a mofo because I will get there first. Locked and loaded. Beowulf, what is lolly? Okay, easy, um, easy way to put it. It is drawings, um, anime style drawings that sexually depicts children. Well, actually lolly, it would be sexually depict girls uh if you watch the live stream tonight we'll, we will find out what shoda is because shoda is the same as lolly but it's boys yeah it's drawn csam yes so 
it's a literal iceberg. Flips. It's just in, like exactly. So, and and when I don't know that you're into horses, <laughs> you know. I didn't know that about him. That was news. Yeah. And by the way, <laughs> and that's fine. There's a lot of people being like, you know what? Consuming horse porn is ethic. People make this argument that it's ethically okay. You know what? I'm not going to even argue with you guys. Right. What? I'll let you can have your horse porn, <laughs> but I'm allowed to think that it's fucking weird and to judge you. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. If okay, if you're watching that kind of stuff, but it's like a human being in a horse suit doing that, okay, fine, all right? But if it's the actual animal, bro, yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm with Nick on this one. I'm kink shaming you because I'm in the belief that an animal cannot give consent. Just like a child cannot give consent. I'm sorry. Now, if it's a human being, like an adult human being in a horse suit, okay, sure. You know what? Like furries, go do your thing, all right? Whatever. As long as you're not hurting actual animals and you're not touching kids, I don't care. Do your thing, all right? Go hump with your furry suits on. I do not care, all right? Just keep it away from me because I think that's kind of sus. But you know what? It ain't. It, it's too adult. I don't care. But if it's the actual animal... I'm sorry, animals can't give consent just like children can't give consent. And I think it's absolutely disgusting. And if you're into that, then you also need to stay the fuck away from me. I'm just saying. You, and I don't care if it's drawn or real. If you are into that, stay away from me. Because I think you are disgusting. Just saying. Yeah, just keep it away from animals and kids, man. Mythical creatures? I give two shits about mythical creatures because you know what? Those creatures don't exist. As long as they're... Oh, listen, as long as they're adult, I don't care. I don't care. As long as they're adult, I do not care. And they're mythical creatures, whatever, all right? Still think you're kind of, uh, but you know what? Do your thing. As long as they're adult. But kids and animals? Nah. 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 Sure. For, for watching that shit. Like, I'm sorry. I'm Come judging away. you. You know? Uh, that's it. Keemstar even said about us that we were more charitable with context than anyone he's ever seen on the internet. Now, of course, um, it's worth mentioning that Keemstar hates Vosh. Uh, and, uh, of course, as he does with nearly everybody on the internet. And Keemstar, well, you can get the fuck out however, of chat. Literally suck a fucking dick. However, and this... <laughs> Okay, Tipster. Well, hold on, now, Tipster. <laughs> our allegiances are all twisted. Yeah, uh -huh. Tipster has turned our world upside down, man. Oh, man. Fucking hell. Well, Keem, I guess, had a situation where someone drew his daughter, and so this is personal to him. So I, I did like, not know that. Yeah. So what Keem said, and I didn't know I didn't this. I didn't know that. Somebody, an artist that I guess Vosh is friends with, drew CP of Keem's daughter. Okay, Keem had that story all fucked up. Okay, and I know they, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it, straighten it out right now, just in case people who don't know the story are in this chat. All right. Chris, you know how uh, Chris from Mr. Beast Crew came out and she is a trans woman now. Or she's trans, okay? And she had an art piece, and I don't remember the artist's name, and I'm sure somebody in this chat does. But she had an art piece from this artist that drew... Keemstar's daughter. And this artist was known for drawing some gross-ass shit. Chadman. Thank you, Luna. Thank you, Shinji, and everybody else who got it. Muldoon, thank you. Um, Shadman, all right? And... Tipster defended Chris for having that. Well, he's also he's on the other side now. So now he's going to go against Keemstar. But it would make sense for Keemstar to be upset by something like that. Because that motherfucker drew his kid. His child. Who was a child child. Who was young at the time when that motherfucker drew him. Drew her. So yeah. Keemstar had a problem with it. Yep. Clown did an interview, and I think, didn't Clown make them delete it or something like that? Or they decided to delete it? Cl 
clown did have an interview with uh, Shad Man, though. Yep, I remember that. Thing. That's what that's what he said. Now, Keemstar is not a reliable uh, uh, reporter. Yeah. We would need a third party. Uh, Tipster also defended furry diaper fetish art that was traced over a photo of an actual child. Yeah, because the child was, um, I believe, climbing into a pool. I believe the art you're talking about was the kid climbing into a pool. Yep. Yep, he sure did. Tipster don't watch anime anymore, though, y'all. But that's what he said. Mm. And that Vosh is, I guess, just like t openly friends with this person mm. who's a known lolly artist. Yeah, I'm going to rewatch the video now because I saw it right before he went live. But I wasn't sure if he said Vosh's friend or Tipster's friend. But mm. oh, it may have true. Been okay, I'll good. confirm. Good. Mm. <clears throat> so <clears throat> here's the yeah, I'm not pretending that's a big dark secret. I didn't fucking know about this. And even if I was saying it was a big dark secret, what does it matter, bro? You know, it doesn't change what it is. So you can stop with that one. Okay, here's the thing. I can I can actually understand H three not knowing about it because he's so disconnected from the commentary community, and he's and he just stepped into Twitch poll when he was you know hanging out with Hassan and had his podcast. I can understand where Ethan didn't know that. I can't. I can understand where Ethan didn't know any of that. I get it because he's so disconnected. You know, he's so disconnected. He doesn't know all the shit. He keeps up with Keemstar, but he don't keep up that well. You know? The other thing he keeps saying is that we were friends and that I backstabbed him or something, <laughs> which is entirely absurd. I've literally talked to him twice in, in uh, Twitter DMs. Twice. Mm -hmm. Briefly. So this whole thing that I should be running defense for him, have, being like having CP... Uh, can I call it CP? Is that justified or is that? Uh, should probably I think you should probably make the distinction. Lolly. Yeah. 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 Yeah, drawn, drawn CP? CP does have the a drawing element victim, makes it very so different than if it wasn't level. drawing. True. And I agree. I think drawn CP is a better way of putting it. Um, just to make the distinction between, I mean, it's it, they're both horrendous to me and they're both just as bad to me. But let's be honest, the actual human CP is actually significantly worse because that's actually a child being abused. You know, so I would make the distinction of calling it draw on CP. So can I should I call it draw draw on CP or just a lolly? You probably call yeah, it draw on CP. I think it's fine. It seems accurate because I, I don't want to, I don't want to put anything on him that's not right. correct. That's Castle. not totally accurate. Mm -hmm. You know. Key, I like it for Castle. Okay, so just to clarify, there was an artist that drew some lolly that supposedly Chris uh, from Mr. Beast's crew shared. That same artist drew Kim's daughter. Oh, it's got nothing to do with Vosh or Tips or anything? So this, it was I, all... I heard him say that they were friends. Yeah, no, it, he kind of links it all Okay, together. whatever, we're yeah. talking the Keemstar Vortex. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about any of this shit. Just, yeah. <laughs> so, I, he fucked up the story. He completely fucked it up. Jesus Christ. Listen, apologies to everyone we mentioned in that. We, I don't know nothing about any of that shit. Right. That's a Keemstar thing. Yikes! <laughs> yeah. Other than that somebody drew his daughter. Um. Additionally, you know, you will hear these arguments for two reasons from his fans and his defenders. The only two reasons that I can see. One, they've been misled by Vosh and they don't grasp, grasp the entirety of the depravity of what, what he's into. Or, and I'm sorry to say this, two, they also watch what he watches. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm sorry, but if you're out here defending this shit, you need to really check your fucking self because you do not want to die on Lolly Hill. <laughs> okay. This is what I think is happening. The people who are defending Vosh, okay, are sheep and do, they're, they're, they're the type of people that will defend their fave no matter what. Because according to them, their fave can do no wrong until they personally get upset about something. And then they become one of the detractors that are crazy, all right? It's the same kind of people. They become antis once they get pissed off at their fave. They're crazy people. And they don't know how to think for themselves. And they are literally dumb enough to let somebody explain it away when it is shown what was in that folder. 
Now the question is, what else do you have in that computer? And I don't even think we have to go deep into the hard drive, to be honest. I'm going to be for real with you. I don't think we have, I think all we have to do is go into a folder. What else do you have in there? I want to see the folder. Show the folder. Make a little Patreon or make something and show the folder. If there's no other lolly in there, show it. If it's all adults and it's all consenting stuff, show it. We already know you a freak, Vosh. Show the whole show folder. If there's no lolly on there, wouldn't be it won't be a problem, will it? Lieutenant Star, that is not the conversation we are having today. Alright? The conversation we are having today is about Vosh, Tipster, Ethan Klein, and Couples. I understand my chat squirrels a lot, but we ain't squirreling today. Yeah, exactly, Saggy. Milk porn. We lost a lot of good men out on Lolly Hill. <laughs> you, it was a bloodbath that day. We do not want to lose any more. Guys, don't throw your life away. Don't die on Lolly Hill. There are other places to choose your battle. True. Reports say that the average um, private going out on Lolly Hill only survives for 22 minutes. Jesus. That's in Vietnam. <laughs> it's not right. And uh, I hate to say it, but two people that we are somewhat friendly on the show, Tipster and Keffels, have, have uh, sacrificed themselves mm. to Lolly Hill. Which we'll get into. Do not lose faith, my friends. What you are hearing is merely the death rattle of a community on life support. Continual posts on our subreddit from from supposed fans and defenders of Boss, of which again there are many, which is what prompted me to even get get so passionate about all this. Mm -hmm. What you are hearing is the death rattle of a community on life support. There is no longer shade for Vosh and his supporters to hide under. No, mm -hmm. today the truth will be laid bare to bathe in the light of truth and justice. Let us flood this dark... Okay, Ethan. Okay. I think you went a little overboard with the speech, but... Corner of the internet. With a blinding light, let the rats and cockroaches scurry. And, and again, not to say anything about rats and cockroaches in terms of like, oh, that... that I'm just saying that's... They, they live in the sewer. That's what they live in the sewer. That's rats why. will dance for honey. I wrote that this morning. I thought it sounded badass. I was gonna say, little, amen. It's a little it too serious. I was like, let's fucking just get super... Okay, that was corny as hell. Come on, Ethan. That was corny as hell. All right, let's go to... Tipster's defense of Vosh. Let's just skip ahead. Let's go to Tipster's defense of Vosh. So here's Tipster. Big tip. Friend of the show. It was even featured in our live. Uh, uh, cheers, my dude. Mm, mm. Let's talk about that feature that he had in that live. Hey, Tipster. Tipster. Now do you think it was a good idea that you went on there and said, Cheers, my dude. Now do you think it was a good idea? You even said so in your live stream about it that you knew how Ethan was. Did you think just because you switched sides and you left the commentary community that, you know, if you leaned into the meme with Ethan that he would spare you? Did you think that? This is Ethan Klein we're talking about. That's why I never gave you the W for going on there. That is exactly why I never gave you the W for going on there. How does it feel, Tipster? You thought that shit was a W. And now look, he's canceling your ass. <laughs> Tipster W, though. <laughs> Do a mountain for five. How did Tipster survive defending stuff like this four times out? Great question. Great question. Cheers, my horse. No lolly. Let's go. Dude, love you, no, no homo. Now updated to. Now updated to. Updated. Cheers, my horse. Love you, no pedo. Oh, excuse me, no How'd pedo. How'd we get that? Find out. Tipster said, genuinely disappointed seeing what H3H Reproductions did to Vosh earlier tonight. You think after everything Hassan's community, as well as others in the past, have done to misrepresent...
Wait a minute. Star. Star brings up this point. He isn't even friends with Vosh. He said Vosh probably doesn't know who he is. It's so pathetic to be defending someone for that shit and not even be friends with them. Star, do you know who Vosh knows? Mommy Keppels. So what Mommy Keppels does is what Tipster's doing. Wait, why is that sound not on? Oh, did I come off the sound for the alerts? Okay, there we go. My bad. So he's only defending Vosh because Keppels is. So, I mean, oops. Represent Ethan. He wouldn't be so quick to do the same to others. Yet here we are. Here's the difference, Tipster, and other people that are echoing this. I don't justify. First of all, I, first of all, Okay, you know what? I don't even, I'm not even gonna, I don't justify the shit that I did. I am happy, I'm not happy, but like I engage with the stuff that I've done in the past openly and honestly and as frequently as I need to because right. I'm aware that stuff I've said and done are extremely offensive and mean. And these are things that I'm reckoned with, reckoning with, and are, I've served to uh, help me mature as a person. So they are reckoning this, this, this concept, and again, I see this echoing, we, he, he helped you, therefore you need to cover for him enjoying drawn CP. Like, I'm sorry, in what fucking world does that make any sense? Yeah. You know? Also, he didn't, he didn't defend me because he likes me. He probably did it because he thought I was right. Yet here we are. He even used the same out-of-context clips art writers have been used to defame Bosch this time and time again. I see this and I say, bro, did he, he must not have watched it and just is going to the go-to out-of-context mm -hmm. because we made a huge emphasis on putting everything in context. Do you know what that, you know what their, um, do you know what their, um, viewers or their fans or whatever you want to call them, you know what they're calling Ethan now? A good number of them are calling Ethan a Nazi now. They are literally calling a Jewish man a Nazi. I'm like, what in the world is wrong with you people? Like, literally. But then again, to those people over there, if you disagree with them, you're automatically far right. Well, let me tell you something. I am on the left. All right? On some, on some things, I'm kind of center left, but I'm mostly on the left, right? This isn't a left or right issue. This is, we're talking children here. All right? This isn't a left or right issue. You know what this is? This is a common sense issue. It's common sense to look at somebody and go, what the fuck was that? When they have either CP or drawn CP, it is common sense to look at them going, you're gross. It's not a left or right issue. It's not a political issue. It's like Vosh going, uh, going on his stream talking about, well, it's an election year. An election year ain't got shit to do with the fact of what you had in that fucking folder, homeboy. Because in the real world, in the real world, if somebody even utters having something like that, they get dealt with. In the real world. Unfortunately, we're on the internet, so we have to go live and yell about it. Where I'm from? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. That's no, 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 no. And ain't got nothing to do with being left or right, who you vote for. What political, what political stance you have has nothing to do with that. It's called common sense. And watching it in the full entirety of the clip. And so the fact that he's out here saying we took stuff out of context is just like a self-report that he's just on autopilot here. Right. I mean, obviously what he did is still bad. Like how many times have all these people had to already do this? This is, you know? this is routine for them. Yeah. And they say the same thing every time. And I want to I want to cut through all that bullshit. It's just not here. The go to arguments that I mentioned, you're going to hear it everywhere you go. It's out of context. It wasn't lolly. It's been debunked <coughs> all wrong, by the way. He said, uh, oh, and another thing I'll see, he goes, he uses the same out of context clips alt writers use. 
So if all if Nazis are alt writers like popsicles, am I not supposed to enjoy ice cream anymore? <laughs> like just because they said it doesn't mean it's wrong, dude. Exactly. Like it might surprise you to know, but but there are alt writers that also don't like pedophiles, and like I feel there's a pretty big Venn diagram. There's some that like them. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't care what your political affiliation is. If you don't like pedophiles, I agree with you. Because guess what? I really don't like pedophiles. I don't care what your political affiliation is. I don't care who you voted for. We can argue about that at a later time. But when it comes to pedos, you don't like them? You're okay in my book, at least with that. I can agree with people I normally disagree with if we agree on the same thing. And I'm sorry, when it comes to children, I'm going to agree with the people who don't want to see children hurt. I don't care who they vote for. I don't care. Because in that instance, they are correct. Now, while I cuss them out if they go pop off something racist or homophobic or transphobic, sure. Yeah, no, fuck you for doing that. But when it comes to that CP, absolutely. Yeah, they're right. I can't sit here and say they're wrong just because they're alt-right or far-right or anything like that. I can't. That would make me a fucking hypocrite. You got to pick and choose your battles, bro. It's common sense based. It's not political based. And Tipster and Keffels and Vosh are trying to make it political based. No, it's common sense based. <laughs> not defending all. I was going to say, the people criticizing Vosh from the alt right are probably criticizing him for being a hypocrite, not for well, that, making sure, that stuff. Because they all like that shit too. <laughs> yeah, no all of them? I mean, no, I guess not. No. Well, let me say this. There's got to be a big di Venn diagram of all different groups of people. Criminals, um, Nazis, libs, you know, and every other social group you can think of. And there's a big, fat, juicy circle in the middle that says hates pedophiles. So I'm sorry that alt writers have also said this about him, but they were probably right. You know? No pedo. We all fucking like McDonald's, bro. OJ, OJ Simpson's eating McDonald's doesn't mean I'm going to skip getting some goddamn a quarter pound of cheese. I mean, happening. true. You know what I mean? <laughs> I do, man. I'm with you, bro. Whatever this was intended to be, there's one thing for sure, he continues. This was not the move. And it was an extremely yeah, bad faith. Yeah, Saggy. Exactly. I do agree. Politics can take a backseat when it comes to certain subjects. So, yeah. And guess what? Children is that subject. If anything, children should be one of the main subjects that it doesn't matter what your political affiliation is. It doesn't matter. Children, ch children. When it when it comes to human beings, children are the purest ones. Children, children are pure. Children should be protected beyond all cost. It doesn't matter about political affiliation. It matters common sense. And anybody who enjoys CP, whether it's drawn or real can really have some bad stuff happen to him. And I wouldn't care. If anything, I might laugh at it. Reputation of Vosh. Another thing they say, bad faith. I don't think they know what that means. I don't either. I don't understand it. So anyway, tipster, we tip the, um... <sighs> Cheers, my horse. Love ya. No pedo. Where's the... Give me the uh, horse thing. I have um, this, if you'd like. Tipster, bad tipster. <laughs> bad tipster. <laughs> Jessica Pizzle, was that child in the omen real? That was a damn movie. Girl. Now, let's be honest now. There are some... Okay, look. There are some kids that I look at sideways going, Oh my God, I wish your mama would whoop your butt. Okay? There are some bad kids out there. But generally speaking, okay, kids are pure. Alright? You hear that sound? Like, you hear that? Hello, so Jessica. Bad way. tipster. Get in line. Kind of do it closer to the mic. Like, don't hit the mic, but maybe a little closer. I can hit the mic, probably. <laughs> Is that good? You got to hear in the you air. Gotta, yeah, you got to get the air. Just the air, not the actual. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> bad, Thank you. Bad. So that's big tip. Who's now little tip?
That really Ooh. fucking sucked, dude. I know. What the fuck was he thinking, man? Really fucking, you that breaks my heart, too. Like, what are you doing? Again, he's dying on Lolly Hill. That's yeah. the wrong hill you can't die on, brother. That's the wrong hill, brother. <laughs> can't love, fall in love with the sound bites. I mean, with the origins. You just gotta just enjoy the sound bites. Yeah. I am grateful, though. We, we, yeah. we are about to enter a new phase, a new generation of tipster sound drops because we've enjoyed the cheers, my dude, love you, no homo, for close to a year or more. But at this point, we can say it's become passe. But now, thanks to him, we've breathed new life like a phoenix, right. like yeah. a lolly loving phoenix. Go ahead. Honestly, cheers, my horse. Love ya. No pedo. It is a, it is a gift. <laughs> so, I love it. I started responding to him. In my I, stories. May I also add that when people bring up your old clips, you know, in an attempt to cancel you or whatever, you're not like, you'll, you'll address it and you also say like, yeah, that was wrong. I, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have done that. I grew. I don't do that anymore. Like, that's not what I'm seeing. Every time, it's another <laughs> effort to defend, justify, explain, and double down. This man has had a billion opportunities. I'm going to be honest with you. I think because of what happened with Hassan... And he got a taste of Twitch poll and how the left people over there are fucking crazy. And I'm a left. I'm on the left, okay? But I think they're fucking crazy over there. Twitch poll is crazy. They are psychotic over there. All right. I thought commentary community was bad. Mm mm. Mm mm. Not compared to BreadTube and Twitch poll. Uh uh. No, they're psychotic. Okay. I think what happened is if you noticed when frenemy started Ethan started going more and more towards the left because of the audience that was coming in with trisha all right then he got with hassan and he went way left all right and then the war started he gets into it with hassan i think Ethan, and now he's lost weight he's feeling good about himself i'm gonna be honest with you i think Ethan is going kind of going back to how he used to be in like 2016 but an older more mature version of it so he's not going to say the same words that he said when he was younger and doing it but that mindset of i said what i said i think he's regressing back to what he what he was like in 2016 he's just not going to be as edgy with his words but he's going to be edgy with his attitude Honestly, that's what I think. I think he saw how crazy they were, and he was like, nope, I'm out. Peace. To step back from this. And I'm telling you, the stuff I'm going to show you today will leave no doubt. Big tip continued. I was posting these just random comments. Like, I opened my um, YouTube uh, studio app, mm -hmm. and on the app homepage, it shows you recent comments. So these were, this was two of my most recent comments out of three. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't think, uh, Saggy, I don't think he can file a lawsuit on, uh, Ethan. I don't think he can. I really don't think he can. What, file a lawsuit off of a, um, off of a, um, what do you call it? Off of a, um, shit. Oh my god, ADHD brand. Um, off of an opinion? What, file a lawsuit off of an opinion? Nah. Nah. I don't think he can. And I don't think he would. You know why? Because if he did, and they called into Discovery what's in Voss's uh, computer, Voss might be fucked. I'm just saying. Because you have to take into account everything that Ethan Klein said, and part of what Ethan Klein said was, what else is in that computer? The first one, later, H3, it was a fun few years. Not like Ethan has a mountain of apologies for offensive statements. Not about fucking drawn CP, man. Mm -hmm. let's, let's keep things in context here. But again, I, there's a difference, okay? I'm not trying to justify. But this man said, nope, Ethan's come out against Lolly. I'm out. You know. Everything has been great up until now. He's crossed the line. <laughs> uh, this is another one. I said found the lolly with the camera emoji. Uh, this one is the top's cut off. I have all these coming up later. But anyway, I'll read it later. But he says, do you think he's handling the pushback well? Yeah, exactly, Nikki. Uh, he'd have to prove that Ethan was negligent and malicious. When you have a drawn system, it's not negligent or malicious to call you right. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, Saggy. 
Saggy, do you know what that picture was that he showed accidentally? It was horse cock lolly. That's what the picture was, Saggy. It was actually horse cock lolly. That's the picture he accidentally showed. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Bro. Uh, yes? I didn't know that you and Ethan didn't like each other. Well, first of all, Ethan Klein doesn't know who the hell I am and probably never will, okay? For one, let's start there. Uh, for two, no, I don't like Ethan Klein. Now, is Ethan, but Ethan Klein in this instance, is he taking a big old W home? 1,000%. And I am here celebrating his W. Because it's well deserved. This W is well deserved. But no, I do not like Ethan Klein. It's a well known fact on my channel. I do not like Ethan Klein. But when he deserves a W, I give it to him. <laughs> yeah, I thought I would actually, I thought I was handling it really well. I was, you know what I mean? Yes, Dipster. <laughs> Thank you. Are you armed? Are you ready to fight on Lolly Hill? Do you have your armor? Do you have your training? Are you in shape? Do you have your Hello Kitty uh, MP, M4 or whatever, AR-14? I don't know. Not that there's, there's anything wrong with that. Hello there's Kitty's, a reason uh, why my viewership don't. is shit. It might, well, it may or may not be related. I said our clear, in response to this, I said our clear position is that they don't belong in the same category. I'm right and you are wrong. Good day, sir. At least I've seen what a vagina looks like. For, listen, I, I've never been on this. And listen, and that's another thing too. People who like Ethan, I'm absolutely okay with. Like we just did a video. We did a video on the broadcast talking about how Ethan is a bully, right? And I said in there something about his fans, like the people on the Reddit. Most of the people on the H3 Reddit are crazy. All right, I'm sorry, been there, seen it for myself. All right, when I talk about the fans of H3 that are crazy, I'm talking about like the literal crazy fans, not the casual viewer who likes his stuff. I'm talking about the crazy people. You know, everybody has crazy fans. Everybody. The crazy Ethan fans are crazy. And we got put up on that Reddit, and my guy, did we start getting hit by H3 fans? Bro, I'm not talking about every single one of y'all. I'm talking about the crazy ones. Yes, most people that parasocially invested are indeed unhinged. Yes. Thank you. I mean, Luna, let's be honest. You are true. We are a little crazy. I mean, I'm on YouTube yelling into a mic. I am almost 50 years old on YouTube yelling into a mic to, I don't know how many of you are in here right now, but I'm yelling to you through a microphone. So obviously there's some kind of craziness to me, you know? So obviously you thought I was, well, you know what? I don't know what your name is. It looks like a goat. Um, God bless you. I wish I was in my 30s. No, I'm I'm 48 years old. Oh, it's a fawn? Okay. Um, I'm 48 years old. So. Side of an argument where I'm so clearly right. And it's not even debatable. <laughs> like, it's, it's actually quite amazing to me to be in this position. <laughs> to just come out here with no humility in a money suit. And say, I'm fucking right, and you are wrong. Wrong, brother. And any further conversation about it only impugns you further. You are wrong. <laughs> so thank you. So that's a big tip out here. Uh, we still have the sound bites, though. Right. Yeah, yeah. Cheer Saggy, you're 48. You're 10 years older than me. And guess what, Saggy? You're the same age as my husband. I'm 10 years older than him, too.
Cheers, my horse. Love ya. No pedo. Oh, yeah, so this uh, this is what I put on my stories. He wrote this, which I already read, and I commented, Cheers, my horse. Love ya. No pedo. And of course, and I don't want to take credit. That was Cam's. Um, he wrote that in chat, and I thought it was great. <laughs> I'm glad it, I'm glad it has a life beyond the chat now. So well done, Cam, and uh, I mean, wow. So cheers, my horse. Love ya. No pedo is the new one. Thank you, Tipster, for doing that. When I heard that, I was like, No way. He did. He just, no yeah. way. Yeah. Fucking yeah. clean, dude. He did. So clean. Dude, say what you will about Tip, but he is a broadcast expert. <laughs> he sounds so clean, man. Yeah. I love it. Perfect. Yeah. Beautiful voice. What? Go ahead, Zach. Cheers, my horse. Love ya. No pedo. <laughs> stunning. Gorgeous. It is stunning. <laughs> Tipster continues. We can all agree it was not a great analogy to use to make an argument against child slave labor. Even Vosh now believes it was a bad analogy to use. But it was just an analogy and not an actual argument in defense of... This is an acronym I learned, apparently. It's that stupid debate bro bullshit. Stop with the stupid debate bro bullshit because it's going to come back and bite you in the ass. Stop it. Stop it! Stop it! Just say how you feel. That fucking pseudo-intellectual bullshit that goes on on Twitch poll, I fucking hate it. Oh, I hate that. You know what? Learn how to yell like a fucking adult, okay? You got a problem with somebody or you don't like how they feel about something, learn how to yell into your mic instead of that debate bro shit. Damn, learn how to argue like real adults. God damn, I hate that shit. It's C, C Sam. It's like, you know, CP content. It's an acronym for something. I don't know. It stands for child sexual assault material. Uh, abuse material. Oh, okay. Abuse. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. That's an acronym that I've been uh, lucky not to know up until uh -huh. this point in my life. Yeah. But again, my innocence is broken. <laughs> uh, it's one, he continues, it's one the far right has repeatedly used out of context to falsely accuse Vosh of being a P word. Stop. You. It does. Oh my God. Oh my God, Tipster. Jesus fucking Christ. I swear to God. And now H3's production is using the same rhetoric against him. I'm going to happily dab up with the Nazis on this in the meme <laughs> to say, this shit is gross. We're going to dab up, Dan. Um, again, they don't think it's gross. They just think he's a hypocrite. Mm. So we're not dabbing up. I wouldn't dab up any Nazis. Mm. I'd avoid dissing the Nazis all the no, time. Well, well, the conclusion's the same, that he's wrong. So we, we could dab up, he's wrong. But then he's like, you, you think he's wrong. a hypocrite too? I'll be like, oh, no, 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 no. no undab, undab. Undab. <laughs> Can I undab a dab? So I like how Keffels took that soundbite of him saying dabbing up the Nazis. I like how Keffels took that soundbite. Hey, Keffels, what happened to the 100K? What happened to the 100K, Keffels? What happened to that person that you dox, Keffels? Who actually doxed you, Keffles? Because it wasn't Kiwi Farms. Let's talk about the people that uh, you got deplatformed, Keffles, because you had your sycophants going around flagging everybody down. Let's talk about that, Keffles. Damn it. I, I, it must hurt now that you're a nobody, huh? You're a nobody, Keffles. No one's scared of you like they were before. I remember, and I was one of them. I was one of them. You did not utter Keppel's name on your channel because of the way her and her little sycophants were going around and flagging people. You didn't mention her on your Twitter. You didn't mention her on any of your social media. And you certainly didn't mention her on your YouTube channel. Because nine times out of ten, they were going to get you taken down. And now, now who cares? Nobody really gives a fuck about you couples anymore. You're, 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 you're a nobody. You're absolutely a nobody. And I find it funny that you attached yourself to Tipster thinking that was going to get you into the commentary community. Did we, um, look. Did you, did you really think that Keppels was going to be part of this community? Keppels, did you really think you were going to be part of this community? Trying to smooth up the neck and try to smooth up the bow blacks. Did you think that was really going to work? Tipster was the only one that it worked on. And he was already one foot out of the door when he, uh, when it worked on him. You thought you were going to make that move. But you know what the commentary community t commentary community did? They girl boss gatekeep that shit. They certainly did. Just saying. 
What do you mean Nick just Nick just posted what? Kelpels is reporting H3's video. <laughs> Point taken. Point taken. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. And you know what? That's the person. Guess what, y'all? Tipster hangs out with snitches now. That's who Tipster hangs out with. Snitches. <laughs> Nope, that's not what I want to see. Hold on. Do do. Hold on. Hold on. Do 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 do. Okay, here we go. I reported the H three channel for hate against a protected class. Ethan Klein both implies refers to Keppels as a P-word numerous times, all because she disagrees with him about Voss. She is a trans woman. Pedojacking like this has been a problem in the trans community for years. Look. Hot take. Hot take, people. I got a really hot take for y'all, okay? And don't cancel me for saying this. Don't cancel me for saying this now, okay? I'm trying to give you a preemptive warning. Being trans doesn't protect you for having a bad take. Being trans does not protect you from having a bad take. And you dying on the hill for Vosh is a bad take. I'm just saying. <laughs> Adams is like, whoa there, Xylee. It's like a whistle for dogs with that one. <laughs> Jessica, no, I wasn't going to say that, but that actually would have been funny. That would have been a lull moment right there, actually. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. That's a philosophical mm. question for Vosh yeah. to tackle. <laughs> He's a deep thinker. Yeah, my, my problem, um, if I may talk to a big tip for a second. Uh, Vosh just released the DM leaks with him and Ethan. Oh, I can't wait to see him. We're going to watch this first, though. Go ahead. Is that, like, the analogy was terrible, and we were all talking about it. And, okay, maybe Vosh also said that at some point. Okay, and, okay. Just, like, so what we're going to do, we'll watch up to, like, here, and then we'll go and see those DMs. Counting. And Hundreds. Endless times that he talks about it. I was getting overwhelmed putting this episode and, together. I, I, there was so much. And then there's the two-sort folder. Oh, the there. gorgeous folder. And so it's everything together is painting a really weird picture of a really weird guy. And, and that's, that's why we're talking about it. Yeah, that is you, why we're talking about it. And also yeah, some I, of the clips when he explains the context is also fucking weird. Right. It's like we watch those clips. Yeah. They don't, it doesn't help. But it has, the context does not help. So like you guys think we like didn't understand. No, we understood clearly and we have a problem with what we're seeing. Yes, I know it's hard to believe. I know that Nazis said this about him and so that, that you know, we don't like Nazis. And I get it is from the left. We should be friends. No, I don't fucking care about any of that. I don't want leftists who are into cartoon CP. I want them. I, I, I have, I have friends who are on the left. I have friends who are on the right. I have friends who are literally down the middle and they're cent like central, like neutral, whatever. Um, I have friends that are libertarians. I, I have friends that are a little bit of everything. It, 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 just because you're on the left, that does not protect you from me calling you a fucking idiot. I'm just saying. And, and, and let's be honest, a lot of you lefty YouTubers or lefty Twitch people, 
y'all are just as bad as the people on the right. And half of y'all are actually just as racist like you like to call them out. And ha and another half of y'all are just as transphobic and homophobic, but you tried to hide it under your white nighting. Yeah, you left people can be just as bad as the right people. You just try to hide it. It's like, I'm going to be honest with you. I call myself a feminist, right? We all, we've talked about this a hundred times on my channel. I'm like, I think y'all said I was second wave. I don't understand the waves. Fuck the waves. I believe in equal rights. Whatever, all right? We've already been through that on here. But you know what I can't stand? I can't stand when a man says he's a feminist. And I'm going to tell you why. Because the ones who go around walking and preaching and saying that they're a feminist, they are nine times out of ten the most misogynistic uh, bastards in the background than guys who outright say they are misogynistic. And you know, and then the white knights, the white knights are just as bad as the male feminists. Because the white knights, you know what they do? They treat women like they are children and they can't do anything for themselves. And they have to be there to white knight for them. I'm a grown ass woman, I don't need you to do shit. What? What? But that's a lefty term. I'm a male feminist. No you're not. No, you're not. Shut up. Now, you can agree in us having equal rights, whatever. Please don't call yourself a male feminist. Stop. Stop, because I'm going to look at you sideways. I really am. Yeah. They could be a male feminist and call them goth mommies. That's true. So saying. Um, to stay with the Nazis, where they belong. <laughs> <laughs> we do not want them. The left, we scoot you over. No pedos. No pedos, please. Um, very disappointing, Tip continues, considering how well he's done recently at making good faith arguments. I expected better from Ethan. Oh, I was doing so good. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> oh, he was doing so good until he said something I personally disagree with it. Uh, buck, yeah, buckle up, buttercup. Is. is that the thing? Bucko. Buckle up, buttercup. Buckle up, buttercup. Is that the thing? Did I get it right? I'm... I've never heard that. Give shit. And you just made it, made it up? What? I've heard that before. Giddy buckle up, up lollipop. <laughs> Giddy up. <laughs> Well, let's see. Maybe, you know, like maybe up, tipster, shit. maybe tipster, you're wrong. Buckle but, up, buttercup, came right up. That's it, buckle up, buttercup, because I'm a yeehaw, I'm a real cowboy, boy. Hey, get in line. Get in line now. Woo, come on. Okay, don't whip the, what are you doing, Ethan? Well, let me see that big old pot. <laughs> There's a buckle up. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, no, he did not just say that. <sighs> At least I'm not the only one that gets clipped out of context. Just saying. Buttercup TV. <laughs> buckle up, buttercup. Dip shit. Yeah, Tipster, maybe you can consider that I've been doing so well recently, making good faith arguments. Perhaps that, um, maybe has continued. Maybe it's continued. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe the pattern is unbroken. Dick. He responded to someone who said, you're actually beyond stupid. Why is CP bad? Because it harms all children. Why do we excuse, uh, they go on, but mm -hmm. it's similar to what we've already said. Mm -hmm. Tipster now continues, he's mad. I gave the most lighthearted criticism, and his response was to insinuate his, to, his, to his audience that I'm a pedo. First of all, there was nothing lighthearted about fucking defending this insanity, okay? No. There's nothing lighthearted about saying, I'm a lying and doing bad faith, out of clip, mm -hmm. out of context, character assassination. Right. So I don't know what, what world you're living in, but in my world, this is it. Man, I'd be singing, coping, and seething in the shower too <laughs> if I couldn't find my tip either. Uh, I found my tip just fine when I was giving it to your fucking mom! Oh! Dude, don't get so, don't get so defensive, bro. <laughs> tip shit. This is important that we stay open-minded and just talk about this stuff. Literally suck bro. a fucking dick. Alright, chill, bro. <laughs> chill. Tip shit. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I don't remember insinuating. Wait, Locken says you get clipped out of context for comedic reasons, though, Zyli. Locken, I hate those clips. And you know what I'm going to do the next time I see Luna's bestie, Stan? Oh, Stan's going to get it. He's going to get it. Stan Marsh is going to get what, uh, he's going to get his payback. I promise you. No, no, we're not doing Stan W. No, 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 we are not doing Stan W here. No, we do not Stan, Stan in this chat, Luna. No, no. I'm going to cut, okay, wait, listen, go ahead and type that out. Because when this live stream is done, I'm going to go back 
when the chat comes up and I'm going to hide every single one of y'all who put Stan W. So the next time you come into this chat and you can't type, blame it on yourself because you did it to yourself. Okay? Okay? Blame it on yourself. <laughs> Yeah, see, Natanya gets it. She went Stan L. She gets it. <laughs> you waiting that he's a ped? Well, okay. <laughs> this is something that maybe, comes up a lot, uh, and I think it's worth discussing. If saying, I was like, why? Okay, if I go, dude, why are you defending right. animated CP? That's weird. Mm -hmm. Is that insinuating that he's a pedo? I think that's what they're talking about, yeah. Because you are saying, like, one, people are either defending Vosh because they've been buying this defense crap for so long. They're, they've been groomed to answer this. Or number two is that they also enjoy this content. So if I'm insinuating anything, then it's based on the evidence at hand and based on a good faith analysis of the facts as I see them. Am I insinuating that you're a pedo? I don't see myself as doing that directly. Am I saying it's odd that you would choose to stick your neck out on Lolly Hill for this shit? It is odd, yes. It's very odd. Is it FBI raiding your house and checking your hard drive odd? That's up to them. <laughs> True. I'm not a part of the FBI. Does Tipster have a folder? I'm curious. Well, I <laughs> True words have not been spoken by Hila. Just saying. I don't know, but he, I mean, he seems pretty uh, sympathetic to the concept. Uh, you know what I want to know? I want to know, since when Tipster stopped watching anime? When did Tipster stop watching anime? That's what I want to know. Because I remember him telling me a bunch of anime that I should watch because I really don't watch anime. But when did he stop watching anime? Or is that a current thing so he can get into the argument of it? know when he stopped watching anime. I'm not saying that he watched Wally or... I'm not saying that. I'm saying this regular anime. Alright? When did he stop watching that? Because I remember... I remember different. I remember when he did watch it. I haven't talked to him in like... Whoa, well, God. It's almost been a year. No. No. We had the falling out, what, last September? I think? So, shit. A folder of names. Going. Okay. Ethan Klein. Everyone who disagrees with me is a pedophile. Everyone else, no. Okay, no tipster. That's not what I said. Although maybe I did kind of say that in a sense. <laughs> no, I, I I carved out more space. I said either you've been misled. Oh, this is funny. Ethan Klein. Everyone who disagrees me with me is a pedo. Everyone else, eh. Oh, really? Even really, tipster. Really, tipster. I'm not looking, tipster, I'm not looking at the chat. Tipster again. Keemstar, don't you dare come into my chat, you disingenuous hack. But you weren't looking at chat though, right? You notice Keemstar and all 5,000 of his accounts. You recognized him though, but you weren't looking at chat though. You conveniently weren't looking at chat. When Saggy was arguing with everybody, arguing with everybody, going, why are people getting, why are people getting hidden when they're trying to have a conversation? And she was fighting with the other mods. You were looking at chat when you took that mod away. But you weren't looking at chat though, right? God, you're such a disingenuous fuck. Or you enjoy what he enjoys. And then, you, I mean, everyone else who falls into category two, they should be nervous. They should be nervous. Because we out here. And I got, I've sent AV to get bales of hay this morning. We will you think I'm fucking around. We will we're not, yeah, yeah, we're not, yeah. We're taking this very serious. Yeah. yeah! I love me some horses, but I tell you what, man. Love me some big old fucking juicy horse cock. Slap it on the desk, oh! black. Sorry. I get into character sometimes. And I'm telling you right now, I will not be repeating that line word for word because I feel like somebody would clip me saying that. So if you're going to clip anybody saying that, you're clipping Ethan, okay? Not this one. I just imagine what Bosch thinks on the farm. 
Um, I was started. This was unrelated because I was talking on Friday about how I found Pop Jesus, pick, <laughs> and so they were back on my feed because I was so frustrated I couldn't find it. So I started posting. Maldon, you want to know what line? Go ahead and go back on the uh, live stream of uh, like about two minutes, okay? And then you can find it. I'm not repeating it. No, you ain't getting me. Uh, no sir. Mm -mm. I don't trust y'all now. I absolutely do not trust y'all. Nope. Negative. I have learned my lesson. Posting them. Do you guys? What do you guys think about Hot Jesus? By the way, he's like stunning, isn't yes. he? Oh, he's gorgeous. He's yeah. like gorgeous, glowing. Oh. His hair, everything, yeah. just yeah. stunning. Wait, what do the Jesus pictures have to do with what? Yeah, he what is? They're not related. They're not related. Oh, I don't it's know. just a treat. He he included it to say something. Oh, I did. Okay, there was one I included here that said like Jesus when he sees that I'm not into CP or something. Oh. When I'm not defending CP, so. <laughs> He says, okay, we are bad, beyond bad faith at this point. Now he's just outright lying about Vasha's position. Okay, man, I don't know what to say. Not, nice! You know. That one is just being funny. Here, oh, here's what I said. I found hot Jesus. God, he's stunning, isn't he? Oh, my. This is your goonful. Now, how much do y'all want to bet? Okay, I'll tell you what. We're going to do a poll. You know, I'm feeling spicy today. I feel like we're going to have some audience participation. Hold on. Oh wait, that's Q and A. I don't want the Q and A. I want a poll. Okay. and answer the question because I'm telling y'all now I believe if Keffel's opinion would be against Vosh Tipster would be right there this is fueled by this is fueled by uh, Keffel's I truly believe that I truly believe this is fueled by Keffel's and her group of crazy people that follow her and, and take her at her every word. Older, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, you, we are not the same. You jerk off the animated CP, I jerk off the hot Jesus. We are not the same. <laughs> at least he's of age, you know? Right. Oh, that man is well, well within age. That man's like in his 30s, I would say. Early 30s. Mm -hmm. Late that, 20s. Uh oh. I say late 30s, but, good, but looks good for his age. Late 30s? Mm -hmm. Who's in his, he was 33 when he died. Oh, they know his age? Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. That's why I said So this must have been right. This must have been right there. That's what I'm saying. 33. This is okay. Well, why, why are we talking about Jesus? Love it. And then Love I said, it. Jesus, when he finds out I don't put cobalt in the same category as CP. <laughs> he like, he's happy about it. Yeah. <laughs> How is that bad faith? I don't get it. Okay, now we're going to go into Keffel's um, defense. Here comes this one. Uh, Keffel's enters the uh, fray. She, see, she got the uh, smoke grenade on Lolly Hill and is answering the call. Oh, no. But little does she know, it's a death trap. Lolly Hill is a death trap, my friends. There is no victory to be had, only death and defeat. You will not win on Lolly Hill. Okay, let's look at this tweet. It shouldn't be accept acceptable for people who supposedly leftist or progressive to pedo jacket trans people. We are already the target of that to be the right. Incredibly disappointing to see from people who should know better. I want to know who in who is actually calling Tipster. And Keffel's pedos. Like, they're actually calling them that. Who is doing that? Who of significance is actually calling them that? Not memeing it. Not memeing it. I'm not talking about memeing because what H3 was doing was memeing because they were sticking up for Vosh. Who is actually calling them that? Uh, anyone of any kind of significance. Who is calling Keppels and Tipster that? I need to know. Who? Who? Who's calling them that? What, chatters? No offense, but chatters don't count. What content creators are calling them that? Who? And I'm not talking about memeing it. I'm not talking about joking. Who's actually calling them that? No one. No one.
is actually calling them that. Keffels, you have a bad take and you just so happen to be trans. And you have a bad take. You being trans has nothing to do with it. You have a bad take. Tipster is a straight man who has a bad take. I mean, sexuality has nothing to do with it. Trans or cis has nothing to do with it. You have a bad fucking take. Stop trying to virtue signal. Stop it. Because no one of any kind of significance are calling you or tipster a pedo. What? A hundred sub channels? Are you talking about those content creators? They have a hundred subs? Who cares about them? Do you know the nasty shit that people like that say all the time? Who of any kind of significance is calling you that? Stop virtue signaling. Keppels, you have a bad take. That is it. Has nothing to do whether you're trans. It has nothing to do with that. Has nothing to do that Tipster is a straight man. Has nothing to do with that. Y'all have a bad take. This is that same shit that you used to do. You used to virtue signal just like this when you were going after everybody, when you were all and powerful and people would have you on their shows and articles were written on you and you were getting people kicked off of platforms and you would you would gloat about it. And and you and your little followers would gloat about how you would strike people down and stuff like that. You don't have that power anymore. Because no one cares about you anymore, Keffels. And this is why no one cares about you. Because you have dumbass takes like this. You have a dumbass take. You just said that you didn't want to do drama anymore. But yet, you put your foot in your fucking mouth and stepped your ass right into drama. I'm just saying. Saggy. How serious did you take that? Oh, you don't know? Um, I don't I I I I don't know how serious Keem was with that one. I mean, Keem has said some outlandish shit. Keem and Ethan are the are like of the same coin when it comes to shit like that. You know? Yeah, I know. It's hard to tell with Keem. But you know what? You know what you notice? No one of any any significance liked and retweeted that tweet. I don't think. I know I didn't. I wouldn't touch that tweet. I was like, nope, ain't touching that one. Nope. Nobody was calling them the p word. Nobody was calling them the p word. Kepfels, what did you have to say? It shouldn't be acceptable for people who are supposedly leftist or progressive to pedo jacket trans people. First of all, Uh-oh. first of all, Whoa. I didn't say anything about trans people. And the Thank fact you. that you even brought that up in this conversation is really fucked. Thank like, why you. Are you. I feel like she's run. W, Ethan W. He is Weathen Klein right now. He is Weathen Klein because big ass W right there. I mean, using her trans identity to run defense for a very valid criticism. I didn't say shit about trans people. Thank you. And I would never. That, that's a position That's a position that I loathe. How did trans people even get into the mix? From this. It was never, we never mentioned it. It's absolutely, it was never discussed it's, at all. You want to talk about bad faith arguments? I mean, give me a fucking, give me, you know what I mean? Give me a break. It shouldn't be acceptable for people who are, and what is the shit pedo jacketing? These people have the funniest, what? silliest, dumbest phrases yeah. for serious ass shit. Another word I've never heard of until ja- Friday. What, what's the jacket? Pedo jacket? Uh, we are already the target of that by the right. Incredibly disappointing to see from people who should know better. And again, it's this whole thing like, yo, we're leftists, so can you please not talk about my infatuation with uh, Cartoon yeah. TV? No. No, bitch. Jacket off. Lolly Hill. We got satellite imagery, man. I don't care. If you're left, right, center, goon, griper. 
or I don't know, big tip. Jar Dinosaur, you should be ashamed of yourself for typing that out. Jai Dinosaur said, and I'm going to, I wish I could highlight this. I don't know how people are doing that, but I'm going to learn how to do that. So when I get comments like this, I can highlight it and show the whole class, okay? Jar Dinosaur says, I mean, at least Tipster is consistent in defending Wally for the years. <laughs> Oh, dear God. You know what Tipster's problem is? I'm going to tell you right now. The same reason why last February I I, I, I uh, fired up that live stream. Tipster's problem is he likes the white knight too much. He likes the white knight and he likes to run defense blindly way too much. And he gets his ass caught up. And it just so happens he always gets his ass caught up when it comes to Lolly. Dummy. He's a dummy. Just like this dummy Keppels. Who, who before this was a holy character. <laughs> he, he was truly a... Uh... What's Big Tip's background? Like, what's his group? You were naming all the groups. Like, you Big Tip that? is just kind of a... Force unto himself, isn't he? He's mm -hmm. he was truly a saint, a patron saint of the podcast. <laughs> yeah. So again, <laughs> tips and I mean Tipster reposted this, and again, I mean, dude, talk about bad faith. Give me a break. You want to really have this conversation, moron? She continues. I'm disappointed in H3H Productions. You had me on your show and called me a hero for fighting against a far right stalker forum that made multiple people kill themselves. Now are you now you are using Clara Keppels. That same forum you tried to say they doxed you. It wasn't them that doxed you. And you know what? Guess where Kiwi Farms is today? You can Google it. They're on the main web now. Yeah, you did great, Keffles. You did great. Good job, Keffles. It's still up. Yep. You didn't do shit. You made it a little inconvenient for people. That go on there. I don't even know how to go on there. I'm going to be honest with you. You, make it, you, you, you. you made it a little inconvenient. But it's still up. It's still there. It's still going. So what was that 100k for again? What was that 100k for? I'm just saying. What was that 100k for? Just throwing it out there. What happened to that lawsuit? Just saying. Just throwing it out there. How was Ireland? All right, let's go. Thing out of context clips sourced from the same website to attack people. Do better, Ethan. No. Um, I didn't call you a hero for defending Vosh. I said I thought what you did was heroic going up against Kiwi Farms. Does that preclude you, exclude you from criticism for the rest of my life? Of course not. Don't be dense. Moron. The only thing you're showing is what a fucking moron you are. Again, these people are obsessed with phrases like bad faith. Yep. These are bad faith arguments. They're not even logically consistent. It's just a fallacy to think that I owe you my lifelong allegiance because you called into the show once and I complimented you. Give me a fucking break, dummy. I feel like they haven't even watched because... That's saying, the other thing. Saying you are using out-of-context clips sourced from the same website to attack people. It's just they're on autopilot. It did not happen. They're in it the did not happen. It didn't happen. Again, I, I say, I've said this so many times now, but we went through efforts to show the full context, which makes me think that her and Tips are both just doing the, they're on autopilot, which is sad and pathetic. Especially because I've had such a good run of being good faith, Tip. Hmm. Um, let's see, I responded to them. I said, who now, the- I think, I think Keffels knows exactly what she's doing and Tipster is on autopilot following her. Just like when he was in the commentary community and big W to the people who tried to warn me about Tipster. Big W. And you know who you are if you're listening to this. But just like Tipster blindly followed Nick Augie and Bo Blacks. He attaches himself to people and he just follows them. And whatever their cause is, it's his cause too. People tried to warn me that he did that. I didn't believe it until I saw it for myself. Because what he's doing with, uh, 
with Keppels now is exactly what he did with the bros back then. Because I remember in the tea community, we used to joke about how Tipster did that with Nick Boblax and Augie. We used to joke about how Tipster was always the first one out front protecting everybody. He does the same shit for Keppels. We were joking about that before I even knew that motherfucker. We were talking about that as outside observers of the commentary community not being within the commentary community. And I'm seeing him doing the same shit now as an observer and outside of his sphere. He's doing the exact same thing now as what I saw him do back then. Tipster is a follower, not a leader. He gets told to go fetch. Fuck, are these people riding, pun intended, for pornographic drawings of a horse fucking a child? Am I losing my goddamn mind? And I just showed them, uh, you know, the tweets I already showed you guys. Uh, tips are responding. He says, yes, H3 Productions, you are losing your mind. You're being extremely bad faith. Can you stop saying that? Like, I you know. genuinely don't know what that means. I don't want to hear it anymore. Bad faith is when you present an argument that you yourself don't believe to be true. <laughs> that's how I, that's how I, yeah. ex be, uh, engaging in, in, with bad intentions, with untruthful, un, unpure intentions. And, uh, I gotta tell you. Luna Lizzie asks, and the only reason why I'm stopping, because I don't mind saying this. Xylee, do you ever miss the key community? Do you like it here more? Okay. Okay, so we're going to go on a little side tangent, ADHD. All right, how long we've been here? Oh, we've only been here two hours. All right. We're good, because I think we don't have too far to go, right? How, far, how much further we got to go? Yeah, we don't have too far to go. All right. Um... So the question is, do I like it here better? Yes. Um, I will say this community was harder for me to get into. Um, well, no. This community was harder for me to be accepted. All right? Uh, I feel like I really had to work for it here. But the thing is, is being in this community, I feel like I have more freedom. I feel like I can have my more, I can have my own opinions more here than over there where I used to be. You know? So I do like it here better. I do. I have to admit. I do like I do like it here much better because I have more freedom. I have a lot more freedom. You know? So, so, all right, so let's continue. He says, now everyone, everyone is calling you out for it. I don't know what forums you're on, buddy. <laughs> but if you're, in, if you're in a community where everybody's calling me out, then I have to say I'm suspicious of you. I'm even more suspicious of you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I don't, I don't think that's what's happening, buddy. But I'll take, if you want to tell me the names of all the people, I'd be happy to pass them off to the FBI if, I, if they reach out. <laughs> Here's the name of all the people who have been calling me out. <laughs> you may want to investigate. He says, we expected better from you. Well, you shouldn't. Well, <laughs> that was your first mistake. First of all, just up. You know what I mean? That's a message to anybody, friend and foe alike. Don't expect better from me in any situation. Um, yada, yada, yada. Keffel says, I literally have Ethan's phone number. He gave it to me. I'll try to call him later. Do not fucking call me. <laughs> I don't remember giving you my phone number. I don't remember talking to you on the phone, but do not fucking call me, please. Okay. Becoming online blood sports. Claire, you don't know what blood sports is. You really don't. You literally talk at the pace of a turtle. There is no way anyone could have blood sports with you. You talk like a turtle. You talk so slow. There is no way anybody could have blood sports with you. Stop it. That's why you have to go and debate. Because you have to have structure. Because you talk like this. There can't be blood sports with you. We don't do positive, uh, we don't do positivity turtles here. We do positivity potatoes here, okay? I will definitely, I'm not interested in talking on the phone or answering a call from an unknown number, frankly. You're like two steps away from getting me on the phone. <laughs> Two great barriers are between us. 
She says, I'll try giving him a call later to see if this can be sorted instead of becoming online blood sports. Well, listen, that's kind of my business. We're in a, we're in a bloody business. And y'all just offended animated CP, so let's giddy up. Hey, stop. Stop dialing. Keffels, put the phone down. Put the phone down. That was such a fucking slap in the face. I love it. I fucking love it. That was such a slap in the face. She literally has my phone number. Okay, I just, that doesn't mean I know you. <laughs> I don't know you. So does our whole audience. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. You think you're unique? <laughs> no, you. I don't defend Vosh for clout. Or here, somebody said to her, Notice anyone defending Vosh has a financial clout incentive to do so. Harming children isn't a deal breaker for these people because more subs, attention, ultimately money are more important to them. I don't know if that's true. I can definitely understand why they're saying that. Uh, Claire, uh, Keffel says, I don't defend Bosch for clout. I've lost both financial and networking opportunities for being his friend. I defend him because he's a good person who more often than not is unfairly maligned by people who should know better. So... Wait! I have lost both financial and networking opportunities by for being his friend? By being his friend, you were able to get into that GG, though. You were able... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 we, no, 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 ma'am, no, ma'am. Why forest? Officially and legally a co-op with nine members, one member, one vote, White Forest has grown a lot over the years, originally maintaining sites for content creators using White Leaf. We've been able to start handling merch fulfillment at the start of 2022 thanks to the support of Vosh. All right. And here, mm, hold on. Here, you know, it shows you how the structure is. You know, blah, 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 blah. All right. Yeah. Creators. Wash. Oh! There's Shoe and Head, Dander Hall, Demon Mama, Dylan, the Sirs. Uh, was started by White Nervosa, apparently. Oh! And there's Keffels. What have you lost? What? Doesn't look like you lost it to me. Um, there was something else, too. Wait a minute. Hold on. One moment. One moment, one moment, one moment. Nope, that's not that. Nope, that's not that. Mmm. Boss has read it. The White Leaf Empire grows. Keffels is getting a GG site two years ago. You've lost what? What have you lost? I don't think you lost anything. You lost everything because of yourself and your actions. And the way you were leading your life. That's what you lost. What? I mean, what? Anyway. Back to the regular schedule program. So this happens oh. to him a lot? <laughs> You're right. Mm -hmm. It does. Mm. A lot. Kind of interesting. Well, why are you defending him then? Because he's a good person who is more often than not right. So you're saying there's a chance he's wrong. More often. That just means 51%. You know? Just, it's, this is Lolly Hill. You really, you've got to think twice before stepping into the battlefield. I can't emphasize that enough. Uh, Keffel says, very cool. Now he's putting me on blast saying that I want to debate the ethics of child pornography. This is toxic, bad faith, drama, mongering, trash. For the record, she's talking about Hassan. I didn't see his clip. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Although, I don't think that what he said is like extremely far off. Mm. You know? I don't think it's that far off. You got to just be, come, you got to come to peace with what you're doing. I don't know, man. Be at peace. It's <laughs> <laughs>
That was very good, Zach. That was very good. Love that. Um, I, I would say that Vosh very much does want to debate the ethics of child pornography. A lot of his fans would disagree and say, oh, it's out of context and stuff. But I have a hard time believing that um, in the full context of all the conversations he had, that that's not part of what he's trying to do. So, sorry. This is all. Rolly, if you think that's a mustache, there is something wrong with you. I'm just saying. That is not a mustache. That is my grumpy face. Okay? Just saying. All stuff uh, that's happening on because of stuff that you've said and done. With all due respect, I never asked to debate Ethan or anyone on this topic. I never asked to debate you either. I don't even know you. I think it's pretty out of pocket for Ethan. I know. I'm a troll too. You, you obviously have never been in my chat because I troll the hell out of my chat. Do you know how many times I threaten to hide people in my chat? Because that's just how we are. My chat is filled with trolls. Matter of fact, I have the most asshole mods that you can have on YouTube. My mods are assholes. And the people in green, they're just as bad as the mods. My whole chat is filled with assholes. So you chill and learn to be trolled. If you can come in here and troll, then somebody can troll you back, okay? It's not a one-way street. This is a two-way motherfucking street here, thank you very much, okay? So if you come in here and you troll, don't get mad when you get trolled back. How about you shave your face? How about that, ro? You're not very good at it, though. I will say. W Squirrel Lock's not in here lying, saying she lying and we are sweet and innocent angels. That's a load of bullshit, and you know that. Y'all are horrible. I know you are not trying to sit here and saying this chat is innocent. I understand we call ourselves a Christian Mingle chat for memes, but let's be honest, we're horrible. Working is not an excuse, nuclear winter. Okay? You skip work for my chats. All right there, buddy? Just saying. Ben is mean to me. Tanner, I'm sorry that Ben is mean to you. Because Ben is mean to everybody. I have to deal with Ben quite a bit in this chat. Okay? To say, who are these people writing for child pornography? I said, okay, hold on, hold on. I said, who the fuck are these people writing for pornographic drawings of a horse fucking a child? I was extremely specific for, for the purpose of being um, accurate yeah, and not doing things in bad faith. So I don't know what the fuck you want. I mean, again, you guys are really wearing that word out. It's time to retire that shit. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's where so you can yeah. retire better. <laughs> Uh, when I'm not defending CP, Ethan knows who I am and called me a hero on a show. Girl, me calling you a hero for something you did years ago doesn't mean I know you. What? And she wasn't even a hero then. She was grifting. She wasn't even a hero then, Ethan. Ethan, I um, implore you to go back and look what she really did because she wasn't a hero at all. She was grifting the entire time. The same audience that is standing her now are the same people she grifted off of and got 100k. She's a grifter. Just saying. I mean, am I wrong? Put a one in the chat if you think I'm wrong. Put a two in the chat if you think I'm right. Go ahead, Ethan, and go back and look at what she did. She was a grifter. And if you put another number, I'm ignoring you. Okay? So any other numbers besides one or two, you're getting ignored. You don't exist to me if you put in another number. Of course, Volt and Mike would put a fucking seven. Okay, so everybody who put in a different number than what I asked, I'm also, when I go back and... Um, when I go back and hide the people who says Stan W, I'm also going to hide y'all. All right? Just let you know. So if you put in another number besides a one or a two, you're also getting hidden within a few hours. And when y'all can't type in this chat anymore, just know you did it to yourself. Okay? 
Rewinds her too. Pro tip troll. Xylee with super chats. Make her hear it. What? Okay. R R R Ruhans. I'm going to need you to type proper English before you try to type a troll. What in the hell does that mean? Thank you for the two, though. I appreciate it. That was very nice of you. And yes, my trolls, they like to get me in Super Chats. If that's what you were trying to say. Because they do try to get me try to get me on Super Chats. I have to, like, pre-read it before I read it out loud. Sometimes they get me. What are you talking about? I don't know you at all. What are you oh, saying? Oh, I think that's what, yeah, that's what I was figuring, show, Therefore, then. he can never, he can never criticize me ever without being a hypocrite. Shut up. I'm not sure what. Well, now she feels attacked because I was like, why are people doing this? And now, she, so she's like, yo, you're attacking trans people. Sorry. No, he's not. Mudahar has entered the ring. Mm. He says, seeing some of these links and the footage attached to them, even with context, is an extremely bad look. He continues, it's got, oh no, here it is. Oh shit. He says, I don't think H3 Productions is saying anything out of pocket. Some debate shouldn't be had and some of the photos stored in that folder is downright vile. Thank you. Yes. Period. Point blank. Period. I mean, listen. You guys are definitely need to look in the mirror, and uh, and it's gonna be like one of those. Uh, what was that show where he where he he teleports into oh, other people's skin? Oh wait, this is a joke. so you were talking about trolling me via super chats? Oh yeah, no, I love troll super chats. I don't mind getting money and you troll me. Just just know though, I may not read them out loud. I'll still thank you for the money, but just know I may not read them out loud depending on what you say. Not even worth pursuing, but I'm in too deep now. I know. Quantum exactly leap. I know exactly. They're gonna quantum. They're gonna look in the mirror and be. A, I'm not talking <laughs> about the Thank you, Rewinds. I appreciate it. Okay. I just say they're they're gonna quantum leap into another body and look in the mirror and they're a horse. Nice. And Vosh is okay. nice. behind Nicely them. Done. Yeah, it wasn't that funny, but I wasn't gonna go there. There's a famous meme from that show with the R word, the mm. regarded, mm. and it is frankly, um, for it's it's a time. It was you know back then, but wow, that's an okay, amazing right. clip. I mean, it really is tremendous. <laughs> tremendous. It, it's just truly a tremendous uh, clip. Uh, uh, Kefal says, who knew people would be so outraged about taxes? I guess she's trying to be funny. She's stupid. Uh, tipster continues, you defended him against Hassan's community. I defended him. And so did Vosh. Is he talking to Kefal's? We were willing to see the nuance of his argument and defend him because it was the right thing to do. The least he can do is the same. I put my head in. I, try, I saw the nuance and I didn't fucking agree with it, man. I don't know how hard it is for you to see that. I gave him, I gave him a shot. You know? And I have a standing invite as we're live here. Tipsters, Kefal, or Vosh, you are welcome to call in anytime you want during the show. I invited Vosh. He rejected. He offered to come Welcome on. Here. I said yes, he rejected. Then he says, you can come on my show, which presumably, because he wanted to make the money from it and get the, the clout from it, I said, what's the difference? And immediately accepted. Immediately accepted his mm -hmm. invitation. Yeah. And then he uh, rescinded his offer. So Welcome clearly here. this is not a conversation the great debate lord is interested in having. And this guy, he could talk his way out of a... Out of defending well, JP? Frankly, yeah. he talked his way out of it for a long time. Mm -hmm. That is impressive, frankly. Mm -hmm. Yep. Impressive. <laughs> To do what? Rewinds with a two over here trying to make you money. Shame. 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 Thank you for the two. I appreciate it. He's done and people defend you. I mean, that's, yeah. that's real shit. What? So, um, you know, this guy's the master debater. People, you've heard this uh, term debate pedophile. This gives new meaning to that, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I've learned so many new terms. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you guys want to call in, just, just, uh, DM the podcast account? Yeah, DM yeah. me or the podcast account on Instagram. Okay, I guess follow them. Are our DMs open? Follow them with the Twitter account okay. so that they can DM us if they want. With the Twitter? You got the Twitter. And, and Instagram, They should be able to DM us so anyways. Instagram, yeah, 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 give the DMs on Instagram either way. Just cool. Instagram they or can DM us anyway. Feel free to call in. Feel free to call in. But Vosh is a smart guy. He knows that this is not a conversation that he wants to have. The reason for that, yeah. he's reacted to my debates before. To my one with Pearl, to my one with Ollie, mm. to my one with XQC. And he has been very, uh... Okay, all those were actually W's for Ethan. Especially Pearly. Oh my god, he got Pearly so good. And XQ... And XQC. He got XQC good, too. Uh, rewinds for two. Oh, and Xylee loves us telling her she's nice. I'm not nice. Shut up. Shut up now. Thank you for the two. But I'm not nice. Don't sit here and lie. I will hide you. Do not lie on my name. Like that. We are not out here ruining my damn reputation. Okay? Alright, so. The people who did numbers besides 1 and 2. The people who said W stand or stand W. And the people who were saying I'm nice. 
You're all getting hidden. It's just going to be me and like three people in this chat. The way that y'all keep going. Okay. It's going to be me and three people in this chat. It's not time squatching. We're not doing URR. Okay? That is a Nicholas Diorio thing. That is not a Xylee Gets Real thing. And I refuse to come up with a show that's anything remotely like URR. That is for Nicholas Diorio and his mean little ass over there. Okay? We are not doing URR. No. You know I curse him out every time I see him because of how y'all act in my chat over URR. Nikki B, uh, what, what, um, does somebody want to explain URR? <laughs> um, it's called Ultimate R Word Review. <laughs> So in cases like that, Nicholas DiOrio did a really long live stream on this Voss stuff when it first happened, and that was called URR4. So if you want to kind of understand what URR is, just go over to that channel and you'll see. It's a spectacle. It is not time squatching. Shut up. Uh, uh, complimentary. Mm. He knows that we do research and prep. Mm -hmm. That's my number one guiding principle when entering these conversations. It's preparation, it's research, and you go in there basically anticipating everything they're going to say. Mm -hmm. And he knows. No, I'm a bigger fan of Nicholas's, to be honest. But I like Chud's, don't get me wrong. Chud's funny. Chud's deadpan face when he's making a joke is hilarious to me. And, Nic and Nicholas's, um, Giggle brightens my day. So they're both funny as hell to me. Both, both those guys, they're, 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 Chud is becoming one of my favorite streamers to watch. I have to admit that. He's becoming one of my favorite streamers to watch. I love his deadpan face when he looks like he's trying to be serious, but he's actually taking a joke. I love it. Fun fact, even when I was a T-Channel and I hated the commentary bros, I hated the commentary community, they're all a bunch of jerks and, you know, every obias and ist you can think of, but for some reason I could never hate Nick, and it was because of his giggle. His giggle made it where I couldn't hate him. He could say something off the wall and I hated what he said, and it would piss me off, but then he would giggle and I'd be like, damn. Damn. Now I just want to feed him pasta or something. It's ridiculous. Yeah, he has meatball energy. Oh, that, 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 he's, he's got nothing to say. He has nothing to say. Some of these girls look pretty young. Okay. Yeah. We'll get into that. <laughs> he has nowhere to hide. If he, if, and again, it's like, you're a great debater. If that's what you're so good at, come talk to me, talk to my audience. Here's a fun fact, Voltage. Do you know how many people say that about me? Do you know how many people say I'm annoying? I can't blame them. I have an annoying ass voice. I get it. I'm not even mad at it when people say it. But you know how many people call me annoying? No, I sent for nobody. I absolutely sent for nobody. But I have to say with Nick, Nick has treated me well. And, um, he's been really cool to me. And, um, even when, like he said, he said on that one stream when he was going over what I said to Max, Mama Max on that stream, he's gotten shit just by being cool with me. So I, I appreciate, I appreciate Nick. You know? I do. I appreciate him. Oh, Fairy, I love me some Peter Mon. I plan on being his good Judy one day. I love Peter Mon. Love, love Peter Mon. Nothing will ever make me hate him. And he would have to royally fuck up for me to hate Peter Mon. I love me some Peter Mon. Nice man. Very nice man. And um, explain to me what I'm missing. I mean, that should if I'm lying, if I'm being bad faith, that should be very easy for you to do. Right. I gotta explain that shit. But he has to, like, tie himself into, like, a logical pretzel to explain why <laughs> advocating for a child adult sexual relationships saying that it's good for the kids is uh, out of context. 
Call in, dude. Please. I'm begging you. Okay. You're the debate master, I wish they right? would have called in. I Come really do wish Tacoma they would have called in. Tacoma's weeping because you're just coward, bro. I said, why don't you both go on Phidias' show? Neutral. Oh, brown. I do it. I agree. <laughs> Phidias can moderate this. That's it. He goes, I play the clip of him being like, I believe the children and adults can have a uh, healthy sexual relationship. That's interesting. That was nasty. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> you know what, though? We've been talking recently. we got to get Phidias to call back in. We oh, love yeah. Phidias, man. He's... Oh, yeah. He said he's down literally whenever. He's the best. He's the I best. Want to fuck this bitch. <laughs> All right. Maybe he's not the best moderator. <laughs> Rewinds for two, but you're our annoying, per I guess, person. Um, heart, you nice lady. Rewinds, thank you for the two. You're getting hidden. Marco Robbie. Again, this 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 continued insistent that because they apparently defended me against I don't even know what that I owe them. Uh, it's, shut the fuck up, dude. You're like a child. Is that really what you guys um want around you though? Like. That's like such a weird way to look at life and just your morals in general. Well, listen, if you're friends with someone in real life and you have history and you have rapport and if something comes up, it's really, uh, you know, concerning, you would talk to your friend, mm -hmm. right? But these are not my friends. Mm -hmm. These are people online that I know. Right. Period. Period. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Just because we had a nice conversation at one point, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to call you out on your bullshit. Okay. And I'm telling you now, if it was the real world and you were my friend in the real world and you were sticking up for somebody who had shit like that, oh, we would have some real problems then. In the real world. Okay? Now, I'm just saying. We would have some real problems there. You sticking up for what? You sticking up for a dude that had what? Excuse me? <laughs> no, we we don't we don't rock that way around here. Toss a gossip train for five. Zylie, you're the sweetest of the southern pies. Oh my god. You obviously don't know me very well. But thank you for the five. I appreciate it. And even saying I know them is kind of stretching it. Like, you know, it's not uh, this is not this is not what you think it is. Um, Ethan, uh, Capitalist continues, Ethan, I know you are going to see this even if you won't respond. I defended you while you were having a meltdown over the stuff with the sun. First of all, a meltdown, and fuck you, by the way, for saying it's a, you know what I mean? And also, I didn't ask you to defend me. Stop saying that. I don't care. You're a child. You are. Reese, thank you for being a member for 11 months. Seeing Xylee have any stroke by trying to read super chats that are spelt wrong is so good. <sighs> Y'all really don't want to type in my chat, do you? Y'all really, really, really don't want to type in my chat. Y'all are horrible. My God. Y'all really just don't like being here, do you? A infantile... Uh, Nikki said, I, dis I disowned a family member who defended this, let alone someone I know from the internet. Oh, absolutely, Nikki. Absolutely. I I'm going to tell you now. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you'll understand this Thing. Jesus Christ could come down here himself and say, you know what? CP ain't bad. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to punch Jesus Christ in the face. I do not care. Anybody who says that shit is okay or defending somebody with that shit, nah, nah, we ain't doing that around here. Uh-uh. Oh my God, I can't wait to hear Xander Hall's take. Oh my God, I cannot wait to hear Xander Hall's take. Um, by the way, um, speaking of takes that I'm probably going to go over tomorrow. Um, what's his name? What's his name? President Sunday came out with his own video about Vosh. And it was nuclear. I'll brained moron if you think that that matters to me at all. Jesus you Christ, just... you think that I'm that shallow, that I'm that pathetic, that I'm going to cover for animated CP because you said something nice for, about me? Shut up, dude. Bad faith, Jesus Christ. She's the queen of bad faith. Um, she says, I'm defending- I'm going to tell you right now. If Xander Hall, after this many days and seeing the flack that Tipster and Keffels have gotten for defending Vosh, Xander Hall, if he comes out, and he defends Vosh, he really is stupid. If he was smart, if he thinks Vosh didn't do anything wrong, if he was smart, he would keep that opinion to himself. 
Because the thing is, around here, we got it for everybody. We're just not selecting. I'm not doing this just because it's tipster. I'm not doing this just because it's couples. I mean, granted, it's an extra added bonus because it is those two, especially tipster. Especially tipster. It's an extra added bonus. But I got some for Xander Hall, too. If he wants to come out with some stupid shit out of his mouth about this, he can catch it, too. I'm just saying. I got it for everybody. It's rated E for everybody. I'm just saying. Rated E for everybody. I do not care. Go ahead and defend it. See what happens. I do not care. Go ahead and let Xander Hall try some stupid shit. What's up, Cope and Seagie? When you were having a meltdown, people gave me shit for it. Ooh, you stuck your neck out for me. Thanks. All I'm asking is for you to show some charitability to those who showed it to you. I'm not your yep, enemy. Don't exactly, show me charitability. I don't give a fuck. I don't need your charitability. I didn't ask anyone for any charitability. If something comes up, I speak for myself. And if other people agree with me, that's great. They, you know, I, I welcome people that agree with me. They want to express that and show support. Damn right. But I do not need you to do that for me. And I do not ask for you to do that to me. And it shouldn't come with a price. You don't need that because you know why? One thing I'll give Ethan. what Even with his bad takes that... I just think he's dumb. The one thing about Ethan is he can't stand 10 toes deep and go, you know what? That's how I feel. I'll give him that. Keemstar the same way. Even if it's a bad take, they're like, no, that's how I feel. I don't care. And then sometimes they get shown the light and they're like, okay, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. But he said what he said. He don't need you to defend him. Keffles, you're not anybody anymore. When are you going to get that through your head? Your glory days of getting $100,000 from your fans so you to go on a trip to Ireland are over. You're not the it girl anymore. You're not her anymore. You're not Queen B anymore. Stop it. No one cares. Yeah, a price that I never even asked. I, yeah, exactly. But again, these people are framing it like they put their neck out for me. You said it because you agreed, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's be real. You're not a saint, okay? Stop. Can I, can I hit that boba? I don't I, care. You don't care if I'm sick? She said, I, don't, I need, I hey, need I to hit I have this. a runny nose. Mm. Probably got it from the boys or something. I, um... I said no to the boba order mm -hmm. because I'm on that skinny game. Yes. And I don't like boba, but it is very refreshing. Right now. Okay. <laughs> Ginger finger. Do you, do you not know what that, what that means by being the it girl? You don't know what the it girl means? That means that's the girl that everybody wants to be. That means that's the girl that holds a lot of power and gets to point fingers at people and go, go get them. That's the girl that runs shit. That's what that means. Don't try to take me out of context. Because everybody knows what that means. And if they try to take me out of context, they can kiss my ass. I don't care. They can fuck right off. Because I know exactly what I meant when I said that. Let her take it out of context. She can fuck right off. I don't care. And you know what, Fairy? Yes, like Regina George. That's exactly what Keffles was at one point. She was Regina George. She was literally a little Regina George. And she ran her little sick of fans and mean girls. And that's exactly how they acted on the internet for months. Because her ass was a big deal. She was a fucking bully. Dip shit. It's good. Isn't I'm talking good? a lot. Isn't it good? I just, again, I don't think it's worth that calorie. Okay. This is like 400 calories. You know, I want to eat food because I'm hungry. Good job. Thank you. I do love me some boba tea, though. I'm almost about to uh, buy some that I can make at home. I do love me some boba tea. Dip shit. Being, being skinny ain't easy, but it's necessary. Ethan's doing it, though. He's Thinking lost a lot decision. of weight. Good for him. Choices. Choices. Want to be fat? Nope. And I say that for anybody, even if I don't like them. I mean, good for him for losing weight. I know how it is. I used to be over 300 pounds myself. I've lost probably close to 150. I say I say average 150. 
I've lost like another whole human being. I know how it is. So good for him for losing the weight. Honestly. Yeah, he does look healthier. He looks a lot healthier. His skin looks better because when he was at his apex, when he really blew, like, blew up, like, body-wise, like, his skin was starting to look really bad and he just looked sickly. But now, no, he looks better, a lot better. Why did I fall out with Tipster? Because he's a fake-ass fucking friend, that's why. You'll learn tonight. Nope. Wanna be skinny? Yup. Yep. Wanna eat boba? Nope. Nope. Yep. Wanna eat dinner? Yup. Yep. Are you a winner? Nope. <laughs> loser? We, we lost it. Yeah. Loser? <laughs> yeah, we. Sorry, you Fody. <clears throat> I responded to Kefo's. Oh, she goes, um, a new tweet. She says, hey, you didn't address anything I said. I'm not pro Lollicon. And if what I thought, if I thought Bosch was, I wouldn't defend him. Can you please have a discussion about this instead of putting me on blast here, two million Instagram followers and pedo jacketing me? You, <laughs> you morons. <laughs> you start, about you it. started talking about me <laughs> publicly. Oh I'm like, my God. by the way, if I want to put you on blast, <laughs> an Instagram story is really not. <laughs> What I would consider a blast. This is more like putting you on blast. Oh my god. This is where... Okay. First of all, Tipster's an idiot. When it comes to this. This right here, Tipster's an idiot. Tipster literally came from the commentary community. Okay? He knows... And uh, Now, granted... Now, gra I will say this. Alright? Now, I'm pissed at Tipster. I will probably always be pissed at Tipster. However, I will say this about Tipster. At a point, he did get more shit than he deserved in this community. And I still stand by that. I still stand by that. He got more shit than he deserved. You know? Like, I understand the memeing on him and stuff like that. But there, was, there were a lot of times I was like, bro, y'all need to let that shit go. And let him live. All right, and I'll still stand by that. However, him being over here, he understands what it is to meme about things. He understands about dark jokes. He knows that's what Ethan was doing on his Instagram. But no, he's going to virtue signal because Queen Keppels is doing it. Because Queen Clara is upset. He white knights too much. Mike Lopez, shut the fuck up. Yeah, but this, you're tweeting now. about it, yeah. so he's replying. Yeah. I don't understand. What are you doing? You're a public figure calling out another public figure. Go, no, no, no. Wait, shut up. And, and also, also oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> no, you go ahead. You go ahead. I was going to say, and also, as she keeps mentioning, she's been on the show, so people are going to bring it up, obviously, so you have to acknowledge it. Mm. You don't have right. to, but it's good that you did. Yeah. I was going to say that there's like... I, I mean, Mike, you're still here, so... Hi. Haven't seen you in a while, Mike. How you doing? I, I'm... Uh, what was it? Can you, you didn't address anything I said. What have you said? You're just saying that Ethan has been doing stuff in bad faith. Well, here, all you have said. That's it. And I take things out of context. I'm like, this but is so dumb. But have you watched the segment? I don't think so. I mean, here's what I responded to her. I said, you said I took clips out of context. The entire conversation revolved around showing the full context, everything. So the people couldn't say I took things out of context. Yeah. And you still said it. So like, what, am, what are we talking about exactly? I said, remember that you chose to die on Lolly Hill. Mm. <laughs> Indeed. True. But let's do a seance for our fallen comrades. <laughs> the Communist Party lost some good ones. I don't know. I don't think Kepler is a commie. Vosh is for sure. Right, right, right. Tipster? I don't know his political. I don't think he's a comic. Can I hit that again? You can Tipster doesn't even know what he believes politically. T I don't think Tipster knows what he believes. Because I'm going to be honest. I think his beliefs just come from Keffels. Like, I'm pretty sure... I be I'm pretty sure that I bet you his stance on Medicare has changed. Because of Keffels. Because when I knew Tipster, he was a big Medicare fan. I remember him precisely going, I love watching Jim. I bet you that, I bet you he wouldn't say that now. I bet you he wouldn't say that now. Cope and Seethe, it makes me sad that for about a month when she was on coke, Keffels was actually pretty base, and then she sobered up and lost it all. Oh, stop it. Oh, that's some shit I would say. That's horrible. That's horrible. <laughs> but I bet you, but I remember when Tipster loved Medicar. He loved watching Medicar. I bet you he wouldn't say that now. I bet you he got probably got a lot of things to say about Medicare now because of who he's around. He literally copies 
what the he copies the morals and values of the people around him. Yes, y'all are bad. I have the worst chat. I have the worst and yet the best chat of all of YouTube. It's kind of amazing. Like literally my chat is an oxymoron. It, it, it's amazing. I'm keep it. I'm okay. I believe in having a good time. Half, I'm good. Mm. <laughs> mm. shit. As good as I imagine. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm going to keep it clean today. <laughs> Yeah, so there was so much. I said I also offered Vosh to come on the show and explain to me and my audience how what I said was out of context. He declined. Also, what the fuck is pedo jacketing? <laughs> Why do you guys have such weird-ass expressions for everything? And how often are you being accused of being a pedo that you need a nickname for it? If the jacket fits, you must not acquit. <laughs> uh. And then here, this is, again, not a real photograph. Cam said this. And this is not real. He is not actually wearing this. But is this a pedo jacket? I don't know. Because I, I mean, this right. you know, I mean, Legitimate question. question. Okay. Is there actually, like, some... Actually, okay, I'm not going to lie. That shit was funny. That shit right there was absolutely a hilarious. And I almost went and got that picture and put that picture in my thumbnail. But then I thought to myself, can I get away with that? Would I be able to get away with that? I didn't think I could, so I decided not to. But I thought that was hilarious. I did. I thought that was hilarious. All right, we're going to jump ahead to where he starts covering Tipster and what he said. Because I don't care about the Discord messages. Uh, Vosh is coping. Yeah. Um, and he's very mad. I don't know. He's very mad. Skelly would. Ahead, yes, Tipster. we all do know Skelly would have put that shit on a damn thumbnail. Skelly, listen. Shout out to Skelly. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be an actual nice person here. Please do not tell him I was being nice to him. Okay? This is just between you, me and how, however many, how many are y'all in here? Uh, me and 342 of you. Okay? Alright? It's just between us. Do not tell Skelly I was being nice. Alright? But shout out to Skelly. Because he's really putting out better content. He's getting better at it. We just need his thumbnail game to work a little bit better. You know? We need him to work on his thumbnail game. But besides that, Skelly's actually doing pretty good. He, he's getting his content out there. And I'm, I'm actually, oh God, this kind of hurts to say it. So excuse me. I might throw up my mouth a little bit. But I'm kind of proud of him. I'm kind of proud of Skelly. You know? Now, again, don't go tell him I said that because I don't uh, need him to think that I'm nice or anything. You know? But. Just saying. Yeah, I like Skelly. I do. He's always been respectful to me. He, 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 messed, up, he messed up a couple of times on my streams, but nah, he's a good kid. He's a good kid. Yeah, I don't believe that that's what he meant, even. Yeah. The argument is just, like, so flimsy because he then has to say that not the act of making the child porn is immoral, but, like, you have to, at a certain point, say that simply child porn, if there isn't a victim, is moral. Like, that's, No, you don't have to say that because that's <laughs> not what he's saying at all. The, the, I hate to break it to you, buddy, but I don't know if you've thought this through enough. Well, he's playing Donkey Kong. How can you think when you're playing Donkey Kong? Yeah. That's a challenging game. People yeah, are fucking guy. brain dead. Like, I listen to this, and I, ju I, I just hate people. I, I hate people like this. I fucking hate everyone. I, I, I legitimately I hate Olivia, all these by the way. You are right. Thank you. You're absolutely right. Thank you. And Tip, how dare you? Literally. Check yourself, buddy. I gotta say, I was watching some of this. He is really fucking. Yes, good exactly, Leah. Skelly is our uh, Skelly is a little tard, but he's our little tard. Okay. He was, this is a hard ass level. He just oh, okay. no he he's that hard. He's a, listen. This is a hard level game. <laughs> no, it ain't. This level is hard. No way. I okay. Would I know. crush this dude. Crush it. I'm with you, Abby. You know. I know my dog. Oh. He's a gamer though. You could tell by looking at him. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't he just lose? Uh, he had a frog. He just lost what? the frog. <laughs> His background, that's a gamer background. Wait, what's the frog thing? Back, oh back my god, the, I don't care about the goddamn game. Brain dead. Okay. Like, oh, you're gonna call us brain dead and you're telling me he's good at this? <laughs> what are you talking about? First of all, he finishes this level without dying. One. Wow. And also, lost wait, is it possible he did that on purpose? Gamer love. Crowned, of course. Like, he has Sounds of video game stuff. Totally. Yeah. Those are really playing the game or play? Mm -hmm. Put it in. Mm -hmm. Look, they didn't get the cash pats. That's literally what this is. They're Nobody take, will ever like, explain why it's wrong. They'll never get into the actual you meat and so potatoes of the argument. You guys are so stupid, you just don't get it. This is just bad faith, okay. But I'm not going to explain it. Nobody in this whole thing, Keffels, 
tipster? They're not going to explain it. You know why they're not going to explain it? Because they can't. Tipster himself in his live stream said that he didn't even see the image. How do you white knight for somebody when you didn't see the image? What? And then I ask, and then I ask, who blurred it out for you then? Did somebody else blur that out? When you pulled it up on the stream? Did somebody else blur that out or did you blur it out? And if you blurred it out, then you can't say you didn't see it. I mean, granted, I probably just gave you the out for the lie, but still. I mean, just saying. Where, what I lied about and what I'm wrong about, other than just to speak kind of like abstractly about Luna, I was being passionate. I do apologize. I had a really bad lapse in judgment with the tone and the volume of my voice, and I do apologize, Luna. Okay? I apologize to you and everyone it affected. Okay? No, I can tell you now, Gio. No one gives a fuck what Jalen has to say about the situation. That I can promise you. I don't care what Jalen has to say about the subject. Jalen needs to just go on her way and say her little N-words like she likes to say in the hateful way that she says it because she's racist or talk about um, how she likes to talk about gas chambers and stuff like that. She needs to go on her way and do that, okay? She has no room to virtual signal about anything. None whatsoever. Because you can't tell me that you heard her say that shit in that recording and that wasn't racist. She wasn't memeing. She said that with so much venom in her fucking voice. She's fucking racist. And I dare anybody to combat that with me. I dare anybody. Just saying. So, mm -mm. Jalen can kick rocks. She tried me and Tommy's chat yesterday. She got shut the fuck down. Mm -mm. Nah. Jalen can kick fucking rocks. Her racist ass. Got it being bad faith. You're too dumb to understand. Dipshit. I just don't understand how, like, how would Keppels or Tipster defend the clip where he's saying that in not this society, but in another, a sexual relationship between a child and adult could be beneficial to the child. Like, I want to know. Yes, Saggy. Saggy said, when I heard her say the N-word, my ancestors cried. Girl, I know they did. I know they did. Woo, I know they did. She said that shit with so much fucking venom in her voice. Oh, you can't tell me that won't racist. You cannot tell me. You can't, you can't give her the excuse that she was memeing and oh, it's just a word. No, no. She meant that shit to the fullest extent. Okay? Just saying. <laughs> how know. they think that's that's I, defendable I, that's what i'd like to ask them too if they would call in yeah mm -hmm. I, i'm still waiting i checked there, there's nothing in the inbox yet mm. i have a feeling they won't be reaching out i have that feeling as well however um something that unfortunately you'll probably never get to experience yeah um yeah these stupid fucking out of context clips and make the obvious response to what these clips suggest just so they can get internet ass pats and twitter likes and fucking views on youtube and shit like dude that. bro you listen to me say that sexual relationship with a child could be <laughs> Oh, let's talk about Twitter. Uh, let's talk about uh, like YouTube view, view, views. Um, how many videos did you make on Suzy Lou? Weren't you getting ass pats for your Suzy Lou coverage? Hmm? Didn't you attempt to get ass pats 
for your mama, Max, talking about how you and Tommy were the only ones that were pushing back. Yeah, you ran. Tommy stood uh, stood tall. You ran. Weren't you trying to get ass pats on Twitter when you said that, tipster? Huh? Weren't you trying to get ass pats about your uh, fight against Mama Max where you ended up apologizing and running, sir? What? I'm just saying. You have no room to talk when it talks about one ass pats. Beneficial to the child, and you took the obvious reaction. What, what's, the, what's an internet ass pat? <laughs> like, good job, buddy. Like on the field. But, but why, uh, yeah, why, they, why not a pat on the back? Yeah, because like, well, to, to them it's a sport. You know what I mean? Tipster <laughs> slapped me on the ass. <laughs> Is that virtual uh, essay? He might. Yeah. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> This yeah, that's literally what this is. Let me take a jab at someone that I dislike on the internet. I don't dislike Bosch. That's what you guys are wrong. <laughs> I said during the video that none of you guys clearly watch. I like Bosch. I think he's funny. I think he's a good speaker. Funny? No, actually, no, not funny, but not funny. I think he's smart and a good speaker. Oh, jeez. And some of his videos are, I've enjoyed watching. That being said, so no, I don't have a vendetta against him, and I liked him before all this shit started to uh, transpire. It's about them. I mean, finally saying one mean thing about Bosch before this. Give me a break. You guys are just doing the. You're on autopilot. So embarrassing. Fucking true. Gone in just your so head I yet. can make a quick buck on the internet. Mm -hmm. As somebody who is friends with an artist a who draws buck. goblin porn, the funny thing is I knew exactly what Bosch was talking about because oh. his descriptor for goblin <laughs> porn That's is exactly a... what the way. She... That is so funny. Hipster knows about the goblin porn. Okay. We haven't watched, we that haven't watched it yet, but <laughs> when, when I was hearing it, I was. I bet y'all can't guess who drew the goblin porn. I'll give you a little hint. It was the argument last year. It was the subject of the argument last year. Look, to me, uh, look, as long as the goblin is an adult, I don't care about goblin porn. I really don't. First of all, it's a motherfucking goblin. All right. As long as they are drawn like an adult, I do not give a fuck. It is a mythical fucking creature. Okay. I don't care. I just think it's funny that Rum has found her way into this story when it is literally the tip's diversary of Rum doing some dumb shit last year. That's all. I just think it's funny. So, it's like, what is goblin porn? <laughs> you and everyone. Everyone is having the same reaction. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Actually, can you look up what does a goblin and goblin porn look like? Because I'm curious. I mean, well, he described I it. I never spoilers, looked dude. He described it in great detail. I'm, I'm I don't want to spoil anything about that clip. That's the new greatest, <laughs> yeah. greatest clip ever. Bosch doing PR. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's guys. There's so much. This is. I'm telling you. This is insane. We gotta. She draws her art. Shout out to Rump and Dump. Fucking simp. I don't know if you realize how optically bad what you just said looks. This looks. Dude, you are literally defending animated CP at this moment. And telling, talking to me about optics. Holy shit. It's fucking terrible. Wow. Well, listen, if, if, if criticizing CP is, makes me look terrible, then I'll be Darth Vader. I don't fucking, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I'll take that. I'll take that tough route. You're going to have a hard time uphill with that argument, buddy. Keto. <laughs> um, so, again, they. I found this clip with like all the con. Oh shit, it doesn't work. This one here. I think it's because it's. The Twitter thing, maybe. I think it's because it's like marked as mature. Does it open for you guys? You see it in the There's doc? A clip. Go look for the clip. Um, I forgot. Yeah, I can skip it though. It's not. It's not really material. All right, and that's um, going into what Vosh said. I don't here's all everything fuck. he said about me on Discord. Okay, so do y'all want me to go on Twitter and pull up Vosh's DMs, or do you want to watch Ethan go through the DMs? Tell me now. One, go to Twitter. Two, Ethan. Whatever which one y'all want to do. Because that's where we're going to stop. One, Ethan. Two, Twitter. Jesus Christ, y'all are like right down the middle. Um, uh, yeah, let me do a poll. Oh, wait, let me end the other poll. <laughs> Whoops. 94%? Who did the 6% know? Y'all don't know what you're talking about. All right, hold on a second. All right. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to make it easy. Which one? Twitter. 
And I'm an Ethan. All right. And star pole. All right. Well, so we'll sit here for a second while y'all vote. Vote on there. Because y'all are, like, really close. Uh, while you're voting, I'm going to get myself a drink. So I'll be right back. How is it rigged, Mike? Either way, we're going to see the damn DMs. Do, do, do. I'm waiting. Once my drink is poured, the fate will be decided. Hold on. The, the soda is bubbling, so it's going to take me a minute. Hold on. Okay. And what have y'all decided? All right, with 101 votes. Now, how are 322 people in here and I only got 101 votes? 102 votes? All right. Ethan, it is. Diet Mountain Dew. I'm not making an executive decision. But I will say this, I appreciate the people saying Ethan, because I'm not trying to read all that. Thank you very much. <coughs> the people are demanding the DMs. I mean, I, again, I don't mind showing it. I just don't want it to be boring. I don't know. I mean, that's why I was saying to show I mean, people could pause and read it if you just show it. You don't have to like go through it all. I, I don't think it's going to be that interesting. I just think his the way he characterizes stuff is really fucking dumb. Also, he said, by the way, one of the DMs, I, Ethan can share the DMs if he wants. So he gave me permission. Nice. What about kiss? Let's just fucking shoot him up. So as you can see on Instagram, I'll try to blast through this. This is our first DM combo. Very first. Would you like to call in on Monday? I know the podcast guys have DM'd you, but I thought I'd message you directly. They sent me the DMs. Uh, I understand where you're coming from. It's pretty heated, although I genuinely don't know what or how my comments were bad faith. I'm being totally honest. I don't understand. And nobody will tell me what was bad faith about it. I just keep saying that. I personally be interested in that combo and do promise to keep a good faith and to give you space to talk. If they constantly are saying that you're bad faith, but they can't give you an example of why you're being bad faith, then, then most likely you're not being bad faith. They just can't come up with a reason. They can't come up with a defense. That's that debate bro shit. I mean, that seems perfectly genuine, right? Not, am I doing you, you, cute, fucking... <laughs> Being straightforward. That's or... it. Uh, he, he says, heated implies mutual aggression. Okay, it's like, okay. that's not what I meant, bro. You, <laughs> He's like, such a debate, bro. Yeah. Uh -huh. exactly. He cannot... Yes! Yes! I that's it. That's a, that's not... Heated implies mutual aggression? I think I would have flipped my shit if somebody would say that to me. I think I would flip my shit if somebody would have said that to me in DMs. Swear to God. The right word, brother. Like, come on. He says it's just a character assassination. It would be from your end of things as uh, if someone like Keemstar constructed a massive clip show out of every bad thing you had ever done, real or imagined, pulled exclusively from the people who you hate. The whole time pretending he'd unearthed this massive closeted pact f full of skeletons when really most of what he's waffling about is either imagined or longer dressed. You want it to be settled. Uh -huh. But you know it's not settled. You're ta- All this right here? This is what the common man calls word salad. This right here was a bunch of words that meant nothing. Literally. Yes, jargon. Yes, Mad Max, jargon. Ask in this is to convince everybody that it is settled, that it is all bad faith. And so far, you've done a pretty good job of convincing people in your audience and people who are fans of yours of that. But I'm here to tell you, you can stop the bullshit because it is not fucking settled by any means. 
to say it's imagined or long address are two very different things. So one, the imagined, is he saying some of the stuff didn't happen? Yes. Because it's things he's saying with his own right. mouth. There's no like imagined. He, he's saying anything about it. He's putting, he's doing a spaghetti cannon, but the, his fans somehow are buying it. Also, yeah. it has way more weight to it, what he's said in the past, now that he showed his fucking- You know why? Because most of his fans, they're probably exactly like this. You could say the sky is blue. Me, I'm just going to tell you the sky is fucking blue. Okay? But somebody like Vosh are going to sprinkle in a bunch of pseudo-intellectual pretty words and make the sentence a fuckload longer than what it needs to be. And the dumbass people in his audience are going to go, oh my god, he sounds so smart. I love him. He sounds so smart, so he has to know what he's talking about. This is how dumb these people are. The ones who fall for it. Mm-hmm. Drawn child porn. On his heart. That's what everyone we, is missing. Yeah, it's like, it we saw the lolly, bro. We, it, 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 we saw the lolly. We saw, we the, lolly. <laughs> we saw, we the, saw lolly. the lolly. That's why we started talking about you it. You and your lollipops can take a fucking hike to Lollipop Fuck. Guild. So frustrating, dude. It's not just regurgitating <laughs> old drama. It's like new yo, content. We saw it's you really have that child Can I give an analogy? Drawn, yeah. There's a there's this hot shot detective. He's put away t- hundreds of cases. He's the best detective of all uh, in LAPD history. It turns out, in one of the cases, they discover he tampered with evidence. Then all of a sudden, those old cases that were slam dunks where we put people away, and all of a sudden, they don't look quite the same. You have to relook at it. Yeah, that's yeah. what's happening, Bosch. Right. We're relooking at it, yep. and we don't like what we see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Thank you. I said I have no reason to assassinate your character again. Again, I, he never explained why. Why would I? Why would I do that? You call my audience pedophiles. You call me. You call people defending me pedophiles. It's ridiculous. Per ham content, no drama, slop. This part pissed me off because I was like, bro, don't act above any of that shit. You routinely do the same thing. You cannot high road me on this shit. Yeah. Like you are a shit stir. You talk shit. You say horrible things about people. Now all of a sudden you're gonna be like, no, I'm not gonna bait you because because uh, you know I'm above all this. No, you're not. You're fucking not. Mm-hmm. By the way, based. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's what they say, right? <laughs> um, apparently, oh, it's cut off. <laughs> apparently, though, I... Ethan was like based. <laughs> That's what they say. Yes, the kids say based. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. I, I don't know why, but they do. Don't see this myself. You condescended me for thinking we were on good terms. Again, he didn't watch it. He makes that very clear. I did not watch any of it, mm-hmm. which ma- it makes me wonder, curious, how can he be so sure everything's in bad faith? For example, his characterization of this is completely inaccurate. He says, you condescended to me for thinking we were on good terms. You can't blame me for that misconception. All of our previous interactions were pretty positive. I didn't condescend him. In the video, he goes, Oh yeah, Ethan reacted like this. Like I would ever be friends with that pedo. It's absolutely not in any way. Mm-hmm. Um, I said I was surprised that you thought that we were friends. He said we're friends. I mean, that's all. So we spoke briefly twice in DM, as far as I can recall. Maybe I'm misremembering. Again, I'm trying to be charitable, but I'm pretty. But that's all we talked. Look, I don't- pretty. It depends on the subject, but that's not what we're talking about right now. I have I have notifications on for her. Thank you. I don't blame anyone for being suspicious of me. There are a lot of people out there who hate me, and I also have a tendency to put my foot in my mouth. Uh, I definitely don't... He put another thing... I'm not going to go there. I definitely don't make things easy for people who want to defend me. I didn't condescend you. I just expressed surprise at the sentiment. I said you're a smart guy, talented speaker, funny, and I'm a fan of your content. I said that several times. Did I say that several times? Yes. Thank you. He says, but right now, as poison dwells and bad face smears go, your show is actually... Mm. What? The well is poison. You didn't watch it. Fallacy you fallacy right now. What? You watch it. But right now, as poison wells and fat, bad, smace, bad faith smears go, your show was actually more aggressive in its effort at a character assassination than any weirdo, Nazi, or Keemstar type that has been in the past. Bro. Oh. My. God. That. Mm. You didn't watch it. You gotta go to that well, and you'll find it is purified, gorgeous, Martin-approved yeah, spring water. Martin would definitely drink <laughs> them as well. It's got t- it's got the uh, the minerals per. It's got all oh, kinds wait, of good. What's the, what's the parts oh. per? Yeah, it's bomb. He says, uh, "It's an effort at character assassination that any weirdo Nazi or Keemstar type has been." You know what I think Again, is funny. Execu- you know what I think is funny. I love it when like people like Voss and Tipster, which by the way, Tipster. Oh my God, I'm probably going to say it again tonight, but I'm sorry, being that I'm on this tip right now, I got to say it. Oh, ha, pun intended. Um, It's funny how you said that about the Locale podcast, about how they fell off. Bro, you have 109K thousand subscribers and you get about the same views as me. Actually, I've been beating you lately. 
um, Locale Podcast with their, what, 36,000, 38,000? Dominate your views. You don't get to say who fell off. You don't get that right. Yeah, you acknowledge your channel is dead. But you don't get to sit on a high horse and talk about somebody else's channel. When you literally get the views of not even a 10K channel. At 109K. You don't get to do that. Uh, Jack for five, new drinking game. Take a shot whenever boss, tipster, and Keffel say bad faith. True. Thank you for the five. Of this excuse that, like, oh, well, Nazis and Keemstar said it, so clearly anyone else who shares this opinion is a Nazi or Keemstar. We are so far from good faith to expect it. Thank you, Keem. So, definitely, when I go on, would be ridiculous. I literally have no clue how you can call it bad faith. That's why I think there's a conflict to be had. I'm being totally honest here. I, I you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We tried to look at the full cons of everything and give thoughtful responses. I don't, uh, Oh, yeah, I don't dwell in the same internet space as you, so perhaps I'm missing or misunderstanding something. Ethan, if you were a fan of my content or whatever, don't you think the appropriate time to get my perspective on this would have been sometime before you, the surprise two hour mega? It's probably in the next. Yeah, here. Mega segment. Where I you agree, react to Tua. People who hate me have ever compiled. I agree. Can we, yeah, can we please stop screaming those? Because they're literally taking the definition out of it by overusing it. They're literally taking the definition away by overusing it. And they're making it more common, like a common vernacular by saying that. Absolutely. I agree. Oh, they try to smear me. Don't you think your order of events is off? There's new info, though. No. But also, it's not like that. No. It's yeah. not like you're close friends and you're going to be like, hey, what's going on? And also, we didn't just show no. the compilation that was going around on Twitter. We found the actual links to the original streams and shared those. That's what really, when yeah. I saw that, I was like, oh my god. Yeah. This Everyone is... here spent a lot of time hunting down every single clip, original, like VODs. What? Like, what? We didn't I... just, so frustrating. And before the show, I'm like, am I, am I fucking missing something? Because this is just making it worse. I asked, Dan, <laughs> I asked Dan if he could check the most recent ones I found because I'm like, am I, am I just stupid? Like, this seems worse. And yeah. it's, it's all so bad. He continues, and you've attacked my community and other streamers. Oh, oh gasp. <laughs> You've attacked my community. Now all of a sudden, streamers? Boss, You're coming for this streamers? <laughs> exactly. He's this principal gentleman. Mm -hmm. Nobody attacks my community and then <laughs> asks to debate me. Lollipops. Nobody calls us a lollipop. <laughs> now come, children. Gather around me. Stroking as hard and fast as we can. I'm only sensing a desire for more content and environment which has been constructed to deny me the ability to be taken seriously. I mean, okay. Not sure how me saying I've enjoyed some of your videos suggests I owe you anything like that. <laughs> Even your, he goes, even your language here is dishonest. It's not a matter of owing me anything. If you cared about my opinion on any of this, you would have sought it before doing a big surprise character assassination. That's just not how I would characterize that at all. I understand where you're coming from. Personally, I think it would be a good combo because I promise you, I don't understand what was bad Okay, all right, look, look. In order for him to download that picture into that folder, wouldn't he have had to have looked at that picture to download it on his folder? Wouldn't he have had to have looked at that picture and go, oh, that interests me to download it in his folder? So apparently, something about that picture interested you enough to download it into your folder. Which means you looked at it. Bro, what? I'm just saying. I mean, one plus one equals two, right? We don't do that common core math here, all right? We do good old-fashioned math here, all right? One plus one equals two. about my criticism but i'm absolutely open to hearing you out do i think he's going to convince me no but i'll hear him mm -hmm. because i've heard i've already heard everything he has to say obviously the stuff we talked about is pretty heavy i think you should have an opportunity to respond to our audience and give additional context but it's up to you obviously i understand either way you didn't care about my opinion then nor do you now but your numbers were good during the segment no again they were average uh they were uh, average that's so annoying we'd get way more views if we like juiced some kind of a like taylor swift's thing mm -hmm. like the super bowl today i mean come on dude evo yeah dude, i'm dying to know what's going on we with put off bebo <laughs> third girlfriend in the week and we have so many bebo updates like i can't wait to tell yeah. you guys Bob, <laughs> you are a fool for thinking otherwise yeah and to be honest i couldn't even post any clips on tiktok because any like stuff with p word or whatever uh, right. i was i didn't post a singular clip from that episode mm. because it, i can't so like, he actually owes us money yeah it's 
counterintuitive to say something like that. We've had less on average views on all platforms. Over okay. That. Okay. It's big for us. Oh, are we getting lots of um, uh, subs and stuff for my money suit? <laughs> I uh, check. Yeah, we're getting quite a bit. Let's go, guys. Fund my money suit. They come stunt on these haters. <laughs> I, uh, because I can't from 20 bucks. Love and watch. I'm gonna same. I don't hate blah blah. Roderick. I talk about a lot of things and people I've rubbed shoulders with a lot of people online. There are some people I would approach privately to discuss something like this. Uh, but just being honest, our relationship is nowhere close to that. I'm not being dishonest. You're not even acting like you believe the things you said. What? If you actually cared about the gravity of your accusations against me, you wouldn't be pussy pussyfooting around with this language. You'd be condemning me. What? Oh, oh god! Oh my god! Oh my god! You don't get to say that. Have you seen the language you are using in these DMs, sir? Sir, sit your at. Sit your degenerate ass down. Sit your degenerate ass down. You don't get to say to him the language he was using, sir. Shut the fuck up. I know this motherfucker did not say that. You know... Is it an accusation when the picture was actually there? Oh, another thing, tipster. What, you want to try to get on everybody else to verify what was on that, what was in that folder? How about you get on the guy who had it in his folder instead of everybody else who was verifying it? Why don't you get on the guy who had it on his folder? How about that? Try that one out. Oh, wait. Queen Keppels isn't doing that, so we're not going to do that, right? Is that how it is, Tipster? Because Queen Clara isn't doing it, you're not going to do it? The fuck out of here. Remember he said that. I don't understand. Remember he said that. He wants to come have a conversation, and oh. you're showing him that this could be a polite, Give civil conversation. What does he want? So, to prove that I genuinely believe what I'm saying, I need to be uh, condemning him. I, 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 was just, I was just speechless. I just said, what? Your tone doesn't match the claim. I don't know whether or not you believe you lie, but unfortunately, it seems I've always had a bad read on your thoughts and feelings. Nothing new is under the sun. Well, the horse stuff and the lolly is. This has all been discussed uh, on my channel openly. I welcome scrutiny, and I'm already hurt by these lies. I won't let you benefit from dishonesty twice. If you'd like to come on and talk about it, you may do so on my stream. I don't expect you to accept. I was like, I accept. <laughs> I don't expect you to accept, and that's totally okay. I'm not entitled to your time or good faith. I accept. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Well, hold on. Oh, I just saw your... Hold on. I just saw your uh, stories, and that, now I realize you're actually a meanie, so I resend, dork. I said, what's the difference between your and my stream? I'll call into your stream if you want to host it. I really don't know what you expect. I need to be shouting at you and calling you a pedo in a private DM where we're trying to build a bridge for me to believe what I'm saying. I included build a bridge for you guys, just as a little, <laughs> just as a little nod, <laughs> if, it, if it came up. I'm trying to keep my mind open and be receptive to you. Why would I be screaming and belligerent? You said you didn't watch the episode. I'd like to know how you can say it's bad faith without watching it. And then he goes, Jesus Christ, dude, I just <laughs> yeah, checked your right. stories. <laughs> yeah, right. Is he talking about <laughs> Jesus? Because he did post Jesus. <laughs> True. Yeah, Jesus Christ. I just saw him. He's super hot. <laughs> You're trying to balance this. Do I say that right? Is that, is, that, is, that, is, it, is that look like something or is it a sound? Oh. No, it's a face. It's I think an emoji. It's a face. Yeah, it's a face. What? I thought it's it was a, a sound. Eye and eye and your nose being like kind of shriveled like this cute, whatever. Uh, yeah. Huh? Right? Uh, Am I crazy? No, that's what I thought I it was too. But it's okay, it's that stupid shit that y'all be doing on the internet that I'm sorry, an old head like me does not understand. I, I, I hate that uwu shit. I hate it. I hate it when people do an uwu voice. I can't stand it. I can't stand seeing uwu written out. I, I hate it. I hate it with a passion and of course you assholes are doing it in the chat well that's another one that's another group of people that's going to get hidden we're going to have like three people left in this chat for tonight yep yep there's not going to be very many of you left for tonight. It's, it's I would just thought it was the, like just doing like a little noise like that. No, it's a cute emoji. It's both. It's it's both. Do I think Luna? the song came after here. Okay. The song came after. Okay. This is a good episode. I can tell because Dan's eating chips. Well, <laughs> there you go. Salt and vinegars. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. This is me. Did, is this? Did you? Did I strike this I see. tone to, in your guys' opinion? Not at all. <clears throat> <laughs> but okay, so he goes. Come You're trying on, to balance this view. I didn't know it was bad faith. Compile a giant clip show attacking and call you and your. Come on my show and let me tell me why. Well, act, dude, don't do the child talk. It's not. A, it's not. Now's not the time or place for that. You know what I mean? He's doing that anime. Well, shit. actively continuing that jeering, disingenuous shit posting on your story. Which, by the way, I've been doing for like 48 hours straight. <laughs> yeah, that's so. I funny. assumed that he had seen everything there. 
Oh, and he may well have. I'm so curious about your perspective, which is why I only asked for it after the character assassination. You're not owed the chance to offer explanations or context before the assassination. Good lord. No, I think not. You're free to say I pussied out or whatever. You definitely pussied out. I mean, that's just that's just the fact. Yeah, that's that's just you know what I mean. No context needed. But for what it's worth, I don't think I'll ever believe you didn't believe. Why didn't you go on there, Voss? You're the great debater, right? You're the great debater. Why didn't you go on there, Voss? I don't understand why you didn't go on there. You're the great debater. Thank you for being a member for two months, QTV. I'm gonna miss you when you're hidden. If you are lying this entire time. It's, it's very formal, the way he's writing. Mm -hmm. yeah. On that pussy jacket. No, debate, no comma, period. <laughs> yeah. If anyone wants context, these lies have been challenged and pulled apart a billion times on my channel. Just as disingenuous attacks against you have been on yours. Right, okay, sure, we're the same. Me and you, buddy. Dude, you, you've said fucked up things. Why do you care that I have lolly <laughs> CP drawings? <laughs> yeah. Bro, what are we talking about? So at you know this what? Point, he I'll says, give Ethan this. I've called Ethan out for what he said in the past. Because he tried to use it against Keemstar. And he has no right. But you know what? He hasn't been caught with Lolly. He hasn't been caught with any kind of CP drawn or anything like that. Like drawn or real. You know, he he hasn't been caught with it on his computer like you, boss. It's not the same. It really isn't the same. You're conflating two things. And he has been called out for it over and over and over again. You know how many times I've called this man out for when he blames Etika on Keemstar? He gets called out for this shit practically yearly. So, sir, sit your ass down. Because what he's getting called out for and what you're getting called out for are two totally different things. If you believed what you said, yeah. you would be condemning me. And now, at this point, I can tell the conversation's done. And I'm annoyed because he keeps mm -hmm. calling me a fucking liar and I'm in bad faith. And he's not explaining, so he's being, yeah. a, little, he's being a little bitch. And so I said, sorry that you think I'm lying, but I saw the shit in that folder. It's vile. It's absolutely lolly. That girl looks 13 and sucking off a horse. You need help, man. What? You keep trying to defend the shit you said and cry that it's out of context, but it's not. And there's piles and piles more of it that further reinforces everything. Seek help, bro, please. It's generally not normal to be looking at that shit, specifically the super young girl stuff. Point to me one lie I told. You haven't. And then he stopped responding to me. Oh, but what's know. interesting is in response to this, he goes, oh, yeah, well, then he, he actually started being a dick and uh, doing this bullshit. It's like, that's what... I can't. I, he wants it both ways. Mm -hmm. I need to be a dick and condemn him, or I need to be uh, polite and uh, receptive. It's like but shut the fuck up. Somehow, well, I'll say it. I condemn him. I condemn him because I'm sorry. I'm under the belief that you had to look at that picture and decided that you liked that picture, and then you decided to download that picture. And it's not my fault that you did that. And I condemn. Anyone who is sticking up for you. Period. End of story. I don't blame you, Mad Max. Go forth and conquer. Condemn him. Mock him. Because that's what he deserves. Anybody who has that kind of shit, you deserve it. I do not feel bad. But as per TOS, do not let the let the content creators do it through video form. We are not about harassment and bullying here. Y'all ain't gonna get me on that. Bye, Luna. Anyway, all right, so um, we are going to have our tipsterversary in three hours. I got to get some stuff done before that happens. Uh, but we're going to go over last year's controversy and maybe watch some of Tipsters Cope. And um, Beckett of Crabs is going to be joining me tonight, so... Yeah, in three hours, conductor.
So I will, uh, I'll see you guys then. Hold on, somebody's messaging me. Is somebody messaging me? Oh, wait, Tommy's live. Okay, I tell you what, we're going to raid into Tommy. <laughs> that was the message I got from that Discord. All right, hold on. Let me set it up. We'll raid into Tommy. I don't even have to do the outro here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to raid Tommy. Of course we're going to raid Tommy. I love Tommy. Don't tell him I said that, though. He doesn't need to know. Jesus, where's Tommy? Where's Tommy? What? Oh, there he is. All right. Save. All right, there we go. All right, guys. Y'all have a great day. I'll see y'all at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be going live with Becca the Crabs, and we're going to be having our tipsterversary. Rewinds, you are never going to be able to type in my chat ever again. Bye, y'all.